I'm George. And I'm Bob. We're the Shipping Goblins from Beetle and Grimms. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing Map Vault Collection. And with the Map Vault Collection, you get a bunch of gorgeous two-sided maps, all scaled for standard minis. Yeah, get yours now for the Map Vault Collection from Beetle and Grimm, and all the players at your table will be revved up and hyper because the only thing they'll be able to say is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do it. Zorn! Oh, do it again. Zorn! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Who do you think you are? Oh, yes, Mr. Lillard. Oh. Yes, sir. You oh. just go we, off it's your thing. Oh. Com right. Completely. We just thought. Oh, okay. I'm oh. going to take this right to yes, the beetle. Hey, Grim. Thank you, sir. What happened? Uh, Matthew Lillard watches our show! Our <laughs> Hello and welcome to Band of Badgers. This is the Badger game. I am Lee, your storyteller for the evening and your host. This is Vampire the Masquerade by Onyx Path and these are my players. Say hello, players. Hello, players. Hello, players. <laughs> I'm ready to do a sound check for the audience because apparently I'm very quiet and you guys can't hear me and that's unfortunate. So I just want to know, can you guys hear me tonight? Because I am going to be loud it's gonna be loud so just as soon as we get the check making sure that the players and the audience can hear both me and the players okay there's 7-Eleven 7 7-Eleven says you can hear us Band of Badger says we can hear you thank you we can hear you. hey thanks guys I'm glad you can hear us tonight we have a special twist instead of Cat played by Bree Davis from Level Up Dice. Instead, we have Laura from Dark Moon Dice, who's been playing Rune the Bentru. We did not have, it was a last minute substitution, but she's here. Uh, first understudy, Laura. Thank you very much for joining us. Yay, say hi to Laura. Hi, Laura. Sorry, I'm not Bree. <laughs> no, it's okay, we love you anyway. Uh, we'll do a quick qu question and answer with, you, with her. Uh, so if you have any questions about Dark Moon Dice or Dice in general, or anything to say at all about Dice, please highlight your message using your tail points. And um, we will ask Laura as soon as we get to the question and answer part. We wanna say a quick thank you to Beetle and Grimms for their continued support in making this whole thing possible. Thank you so much, Beetle and Grimms. We love you guys. Mwah. And I wanna say thank all our supporters who are down here underneath me. You can see them. There's discounts. There's a podcast. There's dice. There's paint. There's all sorts of cool supportery stuff. So just look at the box underneath me. Get some merch. And then you can get some cool discounts and learn about some cool people. Uh, just to note our theme music, which everybody seems to love, is fun, cool, hip jazz by Ben Sound at bensound.com. You can download all sorts of royalty free music for your multimedia projects for YouTube, like what we're doing here today. And if you'd like to support us, you can do so by subscribing to our Twitch channel, either uh, be by following the channel or subscribing with Twitch Prime through your Amazon Prime account. Uh, and you that means we can make even more content such as Mondays. We have the Great British Brush Off, which I hear is moving to every Monday instead of every other Monday. Isn't that going to be cool? 
And on Tuesdays, we have Vason by Free Liga, which is run by the lovely Elle, who's fantastic and creepy and spooky. And it also has Stacy and Holly. They're, they're there. So come come on Tuesday and watch Vason and learn about Nordic cryptids, like the one I'm married to. Uh, on Thursdays, we have Rise of the Rune Lords by Pezo. Saturday, our Badgers podcast drops on Podbean, and if you listen to it, you will <laughs> personally delight the specific Chris who runs it. And we will be recording a special Vampire the Masquerade version of the Badgers podcast where the players will talk about their conspiracy theories and try and figure out what's been happening so far in the Badger game. And every Sunday, we have Vampire the Masquerade. This is our last March game. We will have some games in April, and then we will play all through the month of May, and then the story will be over. And then for now, we'll do some shout-outs. We'll see who's here in the chat. Let's say hi to everyone. Let's see. Let's see. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? We got Sean T.W. Sean T.W. I love you, Sean. You are my favorite, favorite person in the whole Badgers universe because of the fantastic family portrait you did. You can see that on my Twitter at, at Scriftly. Uh, on Twitter. Uh, we have the McGuire Review, who is my uh, other backup player for Team of Annihilation. I have enjoyed so much playing with you, Josh. Thank you for being here. 7-Eleven. Hi, 7-Eleven. my best friend. I love her. Baron Snowhand. Hi, Baron Snowhand. Biff Boff Barf 370. Hello, Carbon 14 XYZ. Hello, Conad FTBA. Hello. Hello, Crimson Nexus. Dane Jarris. So that's our lovely uh, Ricky Dorada. Thank you for being here, Dane Jarris. Dirty Badger, 1974. Dragon Spire. Hi, baby, I love you. Dr. Moltz Kaladin, our resident evil cackler in the chat. Photo Dark Ages. Hello. Thank you for making this possible. Good and Chaotic. That's L. Hi, L. Thank you for being here, babe. In the Air. That's our Holly. Hi, honey. Uh, Kaylee Bree, hi there. Keep drawing Charlie. Yes, more drawings of Charlie. I need to see these drawings of Charlie. They're very important to me. Uh, the hype is there. I need to know what it is. Lilia Jane, that's uh, that's uh, that's our lovely um, Helena here. Hi, Lilia. Uh, my first name was taken. Uh, we'll have to get that back to you sometime. I'm so sorry that it was taken from you. I hope you get a replacement first name soon. Romeo Indigo Echo, that's uh, Phi Armalcapian. <laughs> Rookie Ross, hello, and Ryan the 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 Theravail, Ryan Theravail. I don't know if I'm that's me. Right. Oh, that's it's you. From a, it's from a D and D game. I have not changed it. Okay, well that's that's our fantastic. Mostly because I don't know how to. <laughs> that's our fantastic guest player. Okay, and then uh, my favorite Vanilla Tricks, the best vanilla out there is Vanilla Tricks Vanilla. So thank you. Uh, let's. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with a really quick uh, question and answer. If you have any questions about dice or any questions about hand, hand are they handcrafted or hand painted or both? All of it. It's all, it's all handmade all done dice. by me, start to end. Yeah. So if you're a dice maker or have dice making questions. I yeah, kind of know what I'm doing. She kind of knows mostly. what she's doing. So, so Laura. <laughs> From yeah, Dark Moon Dice, where you can find her on Instagram at Dark Moon Dice, uh, which has a link to her website where you can buy her fantastic dice. Tell us a little bit about how you got started making dice. It's not a really interesting story. It's mostly that I'm a giant nerd and I like dice. Um, um, I've played D and D for about twelve years now, um, and I just I, I mean I couldn't find what I wanted. So I decided that I would try making them instead of uh, buying them, which is always usually the cheaper way to do it, right? If you're really obsessed with something, you know, make it instead of buying it. Yeah. Now I can have all the dice I want. Yeah. Giant nerd who likes dice can't relate. Can't no, relate. No. no. None of us can relate to that. No, absolutely. No. None of us can. It's, no. it's real niche. <laughs> it's I, really something. niche. I, don't know if you... I went 11 yeah. years without dice. Um, yeah, and then, and then, my I told my husband I needed dice because I started playing more role playing games on the streams with Badger, and he says we have dice at home. Um, and as we all know, the internet meme when you're playing D and D, uh, you know, when dice at home, it ends up being a bag full of D sixes and like four D twenties, <laughs> which you really can't do much D and D playing with that. So that's the equivalent of like we have food at home. Yeah, it's, it's we have food at home, but I don't not... want the food that's at home. No, no, and so he's very resistant to me buying dice, but that's because he's a, a frost giant. 
and that you know they're they're like that they can be stingy so we have our first has question. he tried making his own dice he has not uh, but that ties into our first question do you make your own molds or do you find molds that you love from elsewhere Nope. Um, I make them all. Um, I have, I use silicone. I have a vacuum chamber to degas it so there's no bubbles. Um, I get my master's 3D printed. I've used, uh, there's tons of different people who will 3D print them out of resin. I personally don't have my own 3D printer. Um, yeah. So everything from start to end, from mold to ink to packaging is all 100% me. It's not that hard. You, it's just dice, silicone, pour, and then you've got your cute little mold mold and then you fill it up with resin and sand it polish it ink it sell it what just, it's just that easy it's just that easy do you, do you sell d10 sets on your dark moon dice website i do not not at the moment um i'm sure as most people can imagine like it's the the most demand currently is for poly sets mm -hmm. um and not that i couldn't do fate dice or um sets of d10s it's just they don't sell as well. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But maybe now that you've started playing vampire, you'll you'll make. A, yeah, a and I did. And I also speaking of fate dice, I did get some fate dice. So I'm looking at doing some, some different kind of sets for different um, RPGs. So, it's yeah. it's in the works. But uh, at the moment, it's just poly sets. This is poly sets. Well, that's okay. I'll just yeah. have to buy ten poly sets <laughs> to get ten you different can details. Do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm not going to tell you not to. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Do, do we have any other questions from the players for, for Laura about DICE or what we're getting into? Anything we want to know about her? I have a few, but they're silly. <laughs> it's, they're not there at all. Silly? How many D4s have you stood on in your career? <laughs> okay. Okay. N none. Thankfully, Good. okay. Smart. Been very lucky, especially because the standard D4s I have are sharp edge, and Ooh. they will go directly through your foot, like directly through your foot. Um, two, to avoid that danger happening in the future, I've actually redone my D4s in this like crystal style. Oh, that's cool. So, like that. that was nice. No foot injuring, no problem. Just yeah. something a little bit but that's different. Cool. That's unique. Now you have a unique product that. Probably not a lot of other people have. Because like... Actually, yeah, I mean, they're becoming more... I, handmade dice making is really, really, really big. So yeah. it's getting more and more and more popular. But yeah, the different styles of D4s are... They're out there. The ones that uh, won't won't hurt you. Okay. Not physically. Emotionally, yes. Physically, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, true purpose of all dice. I, I can't promise they won't hurt you emotionally. Here's some more questions. <laughs> uh do you have a pressure chamber for your resin molding? I think you've answered that, but yeah. Uh, yep, I have a pressure pot for uh, casting resin, so there's no bubbles in any of my dice. And I have a vacuum chamber for sucking the air out of the silicone. But if we wanted bubbles in our dice, could we? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can make super bubbly dice. <laughs> and then watch the internet like freak out about how they're not balanced. <laughs> So, yeah. Do you yeah. only work in resin or do you work in any other material? Um, currently, um, just resin because anything else has to be pretty much mass manufactured. Things like metal. I mean, I'm sure you can understand why I don't liquefy and pour metal dice in my home. Yeah, that probably that. makes sense. Um, <laughs> as well as things like stone need to be obviously carved um, and require specialized machinery. Um, Level Up Dice does a lot of metal, stone, and stuff like that. So I've done work with them that have had, oh, glass. I've had glass D6s done through Level Up Dice. Um, so I kind of do a couple collaborations with Level Up Dice. It's my logos, my fonts, my styles, but they have the, the heavy machinery. So, okay. yeah. If Bob Barf wants to know, what is your favorite dice, the D10? That's like asking someone to pick a favorite child. It is. Um, oh, it's the firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the D10. Tell my parents that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hard disagree with you there. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. D6s. It has to be D6s. Um, I make them like on a. Well, most of my dice are, are, are larger than regular size dice, um, but I find like photographing D sixes is really easy because it's lots of clear faces. You can see through them, and once you ink them, you can see 
the back of the ink through the other side, they just give a really good and undistorted picture of what you've put into it. Whereas images in something that's more fractal, like D10s um, or D20s can kind of distort the image that's in it, especially in photographs. So it's, it's much easier when you're looking at it in your hand, but if not, they're just like a pain in the ass to, to photograph. So I'm gonna go with the D6. Okay, one of the questions we got is, did you ever make a dice so cool you didn't want to give it to people? Great. There's two sets. Two sets. One, oh my god, I, I, uh, I hate telling this story because it makes me sound like a total creep. Um, I made a set of dice. I don't know if anybody's seen or on High School Host Club. I yeah, I have. Just, just say. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I made a set of dice specifically to match the color of Tamaki's eyes, which is this like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Which is, <laughs> which is like this really dreamy, like purpley blue. <laughs> Um, and they were, yeah, they were so gorgeous. And then I kind of, I inked them in this kind of yellow, kind of white gradient to kind of, ma oh, like match his hair. Wow. Yeah, I kept those ones. <laughs> <laughs> what? That oh, sounds what? fair. Like, you made the right choice there, man. I'm oh, with thanks. you 100%. Thanks. No, yeah. no. So it seems like you have a lot of support for keeping cre uh, keeping your your creepy stalker dice. It's okay, <laughs> but they're pretty. I can't. And, and getting his and getting like the exact eye color. It was really really difficult. There is a picture on my Instagram. I would like I could show it, but like you you wouldn't get. You have to go look at it. And I have like so I took a picture of the set of dice uninked, um, and then like a picture of like his eyes underneath. I, yeah, so it's it's on the Instagram if you want to see how accurately I depicted his eye color. Okay. Perfect. We'll have a look. Go, and that's it. Your yeah. Instagram is at Dark Moon Dice. Yes. yes. Yeah. So go look for Creepy Stalker yeah. Dice on at Dark Moon Dice on Instagram. Let's see. Uh, here's another question. I am playing with glow in the dark resin for dice, but it's not really working in the way I want it to. Do you have any advice? Um, I have used lots of different glow in the dark pigments. Um, specifically, the quantity is going to be really, really important. You, I know that some of these pigments and stuff that you're using, like the powders, I'm assuming you're using kind of something like this. These are kind of just glow in the dark powder pigments that you can get online. You need to make sure you're mixing enough into your resin, mixing well so that it doesn't come out chunky, unless chunky is what you're going for, in which case, yeah, you know, don't I, I... mix as much. Um, <laughs> As far as the finish goes, which is why I don't do a lot of glow in the dark dice, I have before, they won't be looking very shiny. You're not going to get that like super kind of glass effect on your dice because the pigment dulls the resin if, if that's the issue that you're having. Um, and if you're finding that they don't glow enough, then you are not putting enough pigment in. The only other option being your pigment sucks. I, I am so yeah try those I am personally here for chunky bubbly dice so if you could <laughs> I have like a bag full of strange. rejects that you would yeah. love then I love trash so yes absolutely I, I, I am the trash true magic. goblin energy <laughs> uh band of badgers which is our our host and our our, our great leader Dave wants to know if you can create badger branded dice Absolutely. Um, so again, you probably can't see this really well, but so this is like a recent set that I did and they have little sushis in them. I know the camera probably isn't picking them up really well. Um, I've also done... You don't like the makeup people who put the hand behind it, that might help. Oh, is that how you do it? I'm not... I don't. I, look, <laughs> I I'm the talent. I don't do... No, exactly. I don't <laughs> do this stuff. Um, or here's... Let me see if you can probably see this a little bit better. It's an eye, like a mystic eye. Mm -hmm. And it's white and black, oh, and then they're cool. inked in. Um, so yeah, so any kind of <laughs> images with clear backgrounds, images without clear backgrounds. Um, yeah, it's actually something that I do often. And yeah, you could print out like the little like badger paw, and then I could put that in there for sure. I could put your face in there if you want. Not saying, you know, like how... we want that, but I'm just saying it's possible. You know, like how they have civet coffee, where the civet beans go all the way through a civet, and then they eat it afterwards, because no. you have that with the badger. No, no, <laughs> no. Unless you're volunteering to eat dice, no. That is an incredible. You couldn't just leave it. Those D4s didn't look swallowable, I'm just saying. <laughs> no. I could eat those D4s. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've had custom orders before, but that's, 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 what, that's what we want. Declined. No. no. <laughs> uh, 
sorry, I'm really busy at the it's moment. Um, yeah. My custom order list is full. Well, <laughs> well, well, I'll tell we you. Get a willing badger. We will. Uh, <laughs> we will reach out to Baron Snowhand, our reg- resident badger expert, uh, and see if he can help get us some chewed up dice. But until then, let's go ahead and get started with our recap. Uh, does anyone want to recap what's happened? Uh, I, I, I want to hear it from Jack. Jack, Jack, <laughs> baby, darling, yeah. sweetheart, mm-hmm. what happened yeah. to you? Well, okay, so here's, here's why you want to know. Here's all the important shit, right? Because every, everything else is fucking stupid. Uh, so we uh, went to a club, and we had a lot of fun. I flirted with this chick who was super, super into me, but she was a breather, so it's perfect, like, super gross. Anyway, we got the Wi-Fi password. Then we talked to this guy called Chesri who led us into his house. So we went to his house to steal a bunch of shit, but we kind of got bored halfway through. I mean, I got super bored, so I started looking around for shit to, like, you know, lift and things and things that could be interesting. It turns out he had a lot of art around his house, which is, like, fucking priceless shit. I tell you what, Helena almost skinned me alive for putting my little paws on one of them. I wasn't gonna do nothing. Okay, maybe I was, but like not not right off the bat. Anyway, so we walk around this house and there's this one painting called Giovanni's Asshole. And I, I pocket that bitch for later, but then we have another problem because there was a lady in the basement being tackled by another lady, but not in a hot way, in like a murdery way. And then one of them got on the other and then Morgan hit one with a, like, a fucking mace to the back of the head. And it was a whole time. Anyway, that aside, Ricky got into the safe because he is a darling. And uh, he's the world-class hero and my husband and I love him. And uh, he got a bunch of random tat that we now have in a rucksack. But there was also a thing on the desk, which was this stalkery info, like, pamphlet of all of my shit. You know, so like, I, I mean, I was creeped out. Like, I've had some stalkers before because, I mean, who wouldn't want to follow me? Follow me on Instagram, by the way, guys. I'm like everywhere. Uh, but no, it, it was like super creepy. And apparently, he knew what I was doing when I was the harpy in Tampa Bay and shit. Anyway, so this guy rocks up to the door when we're busting open the safe, right? This dude. Apparently, his name is Timmy Fingers. He has a big fucking hat. And he comes up to me and he's like, hey, you fuck with my wife. And I'm like, no, I fucking didn't. And he's like, yeah, you did. So either give me a finger or um, uh, other things. No, a favor. That was it. Or uh, I'm going to drag Rass back to the Camarilla. And I was like, well, that's stupid. So um, I got my crew. We got in a van and we drove away. Morgan did her thing, uh, their thing, sorry, because they're the best, and my new best friend blew up the house as we were driving away, and then, um, I was looking at the back doors, because why wouldn't you, and, um, so this guy, this Timmy Fingers dude, this Archon, he, uh, he didn't quite get caught up in the blaze, you know, he, uh, well, he exploded out of that bitch, and uh, he's currently not just a cuckold, but a flying cuckold, <laughs> heading directly at our faces at 80 miles an hour. So, you know, I'm pretty sure he has the headwind. Yeah. All right. That is... Timothy Fingers and so does his wife. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I assume her name is Roxanne Fingers. I apologize. That's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Would be. It would be Timothy Fingers and Roxy Fingers. Roxy Fingers. I, I yeah, can yeah. imagine she does. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. Because again, I didn't do nothing, but... <laughs> we haven't even Nailed started it. yet, and we've nearly killed Liz. Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Vampire the Masquerade! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give me a second. I only... Pizza sandwich, he better not eat the van. <laughs> That's my house pizza sandwich, and I'm coming for you if he eats the van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get started. Uh, oh, the so... tears are probably going to help the eye makeup. It's going to look good. <laughs> <laughs> Extra spooky. Yes, we're going to get yep. there. <laughs> yep. So, uh, as we left off, and as Jack so 
delightfully described. Uh, yes, uh, there was an explosion, and some people did in fact notice that Timmy Fingers did survive the blast and was in some way, shape, or form flying towards you. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah, Tim, Timmy Fingers is coming for you guys. But before he does, perhaps because of the presence of the Lysandra, the lights start flickering in the van. Huh? Why? It's on and off, and on and off, and on and off. And uh, it goes really, really bright all of a sudden. And then, boom, all of the lights go out in the van. And you are just sort of driving in the van by yourselves in the dark and it's dark and it's night and you're in the foothills of the Pyrenees so it's really kind of dangerous so please Fi, make a drive check <laughs> does that count okay so is it just straight up drive or do I need to roll other things with my drive dexterity and drive dexterity and drive okay oh, I'm praying for my but two successes all right, you're able to uh, at least stay on the road. There's a, there's a little bit of moonlight, so you're catching. And then there's also the reflection from the fire. So you're able to at least see the shadows and not crash into something. And then just as suddenly as they went out, the lights come back on. And there are extra people in the van. Ah! Who's in my worker? Why are the people behind me? Uh, I'll go ahead and Yeah, I've noticed that. Oh, yeah, Laura, would you please describe your character and what she looks like uh, at the moment after her very harrowing journey through the shadows? Um, despite the journey being harrowing, she looks flawless. <laughs> like she just stepped out onto a runway. Um, exceptionally pretty. Um, really kind of long, dark, kind of dark, almost wine red hair. Like, not a natural color of red, but dark wine red. Um, like, minimal makeup, but clearly she's had her, like, taken her time to do it. Painted nails. Um, and surprisingly, um, carrying a really nice bag and kind of just sitting back. Okay. And with her, standing up in the van is another woman who is got rune in one hand and cat in the other hand she's holding on to both of them uh and perhaps the most notable thing about this woman is she has no face ah. at all oh, what that's so just creepy no excuse me face. just it's yeah. all skull no oh, man no eyes, no lips, no tongue, no cheek, Ugh. but the cheekbones to die for, but no face, nothing, but... He's all cheekbones, one might say. Yeah, all cheekbones, really scraggly, gross teeth, the ragged, this woman has never seen a dentist, but when she was alive, and probably not after she died, she has this thin sort of floating dark hair like Helena's whole floaty shadow thing is going on with her but it's longer hair and she's wearing this dark dress that may have been nice at one point but now it's just sort of gone through the shadows too many times and it's it's almost half shadow itself and she's very thin and she's holding on to Kat and she speaks even though she doesn't have lips and she just sort of announces in this dark, gravelly voice, I'm taking this one. Which what? one? No, I'm still using that. Which one? I am. Which one? She's holding up cat's hand. Oh, no, 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 no. Sure. We heard I don't care. And uh, she looks down at Rune and she says, You will find my face. And then sort of pushes what? her down. The blackness comes back. And then it's gone, and then everything's normal. Oh, what the hey. fuck, lady? I was gonna chuck that one out the back of the van so the Archon would, like, have at it like a rabid badger. God damn. Hey, fine, do me a favor. Pull over. I think I'm ready to die now. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> fuck, I'm not ready to go. Yeah, I, I think this is it. I think we're done. I, I... Okay. 
Oh, right. Everyone else yeah. saw the person with no face, right? Yeah. We... Cool. I Can you the... see the person in that the question? Yes, has anybody seen her face? Why would what? it was not on her skull? No, Why? I mean, lying around anywhere, in a box, outside of a box, on top of something, oh, under yeah. something. Have you seen a spare face? Because she needs okay, it back. Just, so... just... You understand the question you're asking, right? I mean, darling. Yeah, were any of those words too hard? Darling, there's a lot of spare faces knocking around, but most of them are no longer attached oh, no. for a reason. Yeah. No, it's a really specific face that she's right. after. Not just like any face, because that wouldn't be a problem. If it was any face, I could just get her any face. But it's it's a specific face. Kind of matches, kind of scraggly. Or, yeah? No? Have haven't you... seen faces? No. Speaking of faces, does yours have a name attached to it, darling? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm Rune. It's... Hello. Lovely to Rune. meet all of you. Yeah. Um, what's going on back there? What's, uh, what's Rune's fame level? Uh, fame is, uh, that's a good question, two? Fame is two. Yeah. Two dots? Two dots of fame. Okay. Yes. So you may or may not have heard of Rune. What is she famous for? Um, she was, well, I mean, she was a dancer and she's really wealthy. That count. Okay. There's a man coming after us who just exploded out of a house. We may have pressing issues. You um, may just want to sit down while we deal with the fire and the flying archon. Just sit, be quiet. Um, we'll find your face when we're not in imminent danger. I oh, guess. Okay. Take your time. Hang on. Don't I know you? You were in that production in, oh god, what was it? Warsaw? Right? The uh, the the uh, the lights and the the pizzazz and the. Well, I don't know if I call ballet pizzazz, but I like your enthusiasm. I mean, I am nothing if not enthusiastic. Did you see it? Well, uh, guys, can well... you stop flirting for five seconds and just tell me if we're still being chased by a demon? Oh yeah, I absolutely. absolutely. Mean stop for five seconds or stop completely. Because I mean, just we can do seconds. both, but frankly, I'd rather do neither. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. keep driving, so, Fee. Very fast preference. For context. For context. We're currently being chased by a cuckold who Oof. escaped the burning building Ooh. and uh, is real pissed because he basically... Well, he broke, like, a lot of rules. And now he's angry at me okay. for shit I didn't do. So, okay. um, yeah. There's, like, a whole thing happening. Don't worry about it. We'll, like, we'll hang out, right? Yeah. yeah. What's his yeah. name again? The, uh, the guy who's chasing us? Uh, Timmy Fingers. Timmy, Timmy Fingers? Timmy Fingers. Timmy Fingers. Yeah, he's got a whole thing with appendages. You know, the ones he's not using to pleasure his wife. <laughs> got it. You, Bobby Toes. That's unfortunate cool. for okay. her, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's chasing after all of you. Yeah. Because mm. you didn't do something. Yeah, precisely. Can you see how Real this angry. doesn't make any sense? I mean, yeah. he was chasing him because he didn't do something. He's chasing the rest of us because I did something. Oh, <gasps> drama! What did you do? I hold up a detonator, <laughs> and I point at the remains of the house out the back of the car doors, which we never shut. <laughs> also, and I, hi, then I shut the back doors. To my house. Uh, I'm not a very good host, and I'm driving right now. Otherwise, oh. I'd probably offer you a drink. Uh, oh, also, hello. Do you want to see? Uh, see? Yeah. With, uh, I mean, you asked if you, you asked to, to see some of my work, so and he just like goes to the back of the van and pulls out the painting, the like the redid painting of the Giovanni's asshole, and it's just like a absolute disgusting, depraved yet somehow inhumanly beautiful piece <laughs> in the notes. style of the. I had notes book. on how to make it. <laughs> yeah, she's like pressed against the edge of the van at this point, like she's been looking around, look, kind look. of alarmed the whole time. And as you hold it up, like she actually sort of cracks out of her fear and kind of is like, <laughs> "Okay, yeah, no, I'll I'll give you that. That's actually quite good." Yeah, see, I know what I'm doing. That's good. Up, um, he's gonna whip out his phone and he's gonna text Giovanni. <laughs> okay. Um, he's gonna send him the photo of the picture with like the selfie of him and Ricky posing next to their artwork um, in the house, okay. and the text is usually when people fuck me, 
they take me out to dinner first. And it has five eggplant emojis followed by still waiting on that favor, baby. I'm going to claim it soon. Nice. Okay. Uh, if if uh, if you get a response to that, I will certainly let you know. Uh, Helena, Great. Helena, did you get, get your note? I did. Okay. All right. You may respond to that as you wish. Uh, yeah, I mean, when she steps away from looking at the painting and turns back to look towards the front again and catches the mirror, there's this immediate panic. What what the rest of the guys in the band will see is this immediate freak out. Um, she'll turn and sort of like make a small squeaking noise. <laughs> be like, um, is, they didn't come back, did they? Nobody saw them back in here. What? what? Who? Where? I what? thought I saw something. I wasn't sure. No, nobody saw anything. What did you see? Mm, Are you talking no, about no, mm, no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll, um, and she sort of like just presses her back against the van and just slides to sit and is just sort of staring at the floor. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to start like fiddling around with some panels on my dashboard to see if I can turn on a light back there. Oh yeah, the lights come back on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Once she goes, the lights come back on. Yes, and everything is, it works well and yeah. It works about as well as you can expect a, a, a van to work now. Yay. <laughs> hmm. So hey, it's Clyde, just got one guy chasing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope Thanks, so. Maybe. If there's more, uh, I don't want to know. Hey, Fly, you got any guns or like... Uh, hold on. Uh, uh... What are you... No! Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay. Um... I've got. Eh, eh. She presses a few buttons and a drawer opens that's just full of glow sticks. <laughs> got that? Any good? I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Okay. Um, I just look out the back window. Is he gaining on us? He is uh, not gaining on you. He's currently keeping his distance, but he oh, okay. is still sort of zooming towards you, propelled by something not human. He's just sort of floating off the ground coming after you. To be to bolt upright on top of an eagle, that's how I expect him to be. Yeah, something in. like that, he probably. He managed to find a paraglider? <laughs> oh, hey. In this economy? Are you kidding? In this he's, economy. He's base jumping. In this economy. Uh, he's <laughs> he's got the base he's jumping suit and just catching that headwind off of the house explosion. No, he's one of them oh, yeah. assholes. He's like, I, I go it's... recreational sports ing, and therefore I'm cooler than all of you. It's actually a wear a... sugar glider. Why are none of my buttons working? Huh? Half my electrical shit's just freaking fried. I got the headlights on. That's a cool. start. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Morgan is going to go over and give uh, Helena the mace. There you go. You look like you need something to hold on to. And then they're going to start looking through their briefcase to see what supplies they have left. Okay. I think uh, my Wi-Fi isn't working. Yo, Helena, are you sure you're good? You're looking pale even for you. Uh, like, you're usually foundation color number one, baby girl, so... It's not every day I end up in a van full of reprobates and art thieves being chased by an archon. Fucking Well, yeah, oh, right, maybe I should have said, what, art vandals? Anyway, yeah, I, that's I, that's I cool. find good owners for the art. I'm not a thief. I just know that people don't appreciate art as much as they should. I mean, that's a lot of tone from peep from someone that works with the people that actually got us into this mess. Also, as a note, you guys stole me and my house. We were also stolen. That's not our fault. Uh, yes, we were. <laughs> most of us were kidnapped by you. Oh. So. Okay. Does anyone else hey. um? Does anyone else feel a little a little weird? Always uh, having dreams about Sam. Uh, Why? Do you feel like that weird sort of bubbly feeling in your gut and chest, and you just start to breathe really heavy? And no, I feel like someone's trying to rip my fucking heart out and beat you to death with it. Ah, fuck me. That's a really oh, yeah, specific fear. Have you had that happen before? Has someone <laughs> tried to take your heart out? <laughs> several times. Several times. No, neither time was fun. Ah, Christ. Also, no, for something uh, you didn't. I was do. gonna say the other one's just yes. anxiety. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, the first one I definitely did. The second sure. one I only half did. Maybe ah, God. Fine. Okay. I mean, fine. Yes. Bye. Uh, all of 
the technology in the van after having turned off switches on all of the technology everywhere in all of the it van, at once all of it at once oh no including the player's technology so if your character has a cell phone on it it turns on and starts playing music or videos this entire van the is now very loud cameras start recording <laughs> yes everything is oh, like there's so like there's there's disco lights there's a speaker that sits on top of the van that's now blaring edm <laughs> i've got neons hey, uh... under this van <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, hey, this fly. does not want to be going now. Hey, Fi, how many LEDs do you have in the back of the car? Oh, man. Is it really bright? And it's is it really, like, really like... bright in the back. Okay, like, cool. This is I go mini down. Mini I'm just clutching my head and my eyes. I can't there's see. There's strobe lighting. <laughs> there's LED lighting. You know that I'm weird down. effect when the strobes happen and you kind of see your body moving like in bits? Like, that's what everybody's seeing right now. And the music is deafening. And there's about six different tracks all at once. Oh, Eleanor <laughs> immediately like gets up and tries to get away from the van as much as possible. Like she's like knees up to her chest yeah. on the seat. Like I didn't do it. It this... wasn't me. I didn't touch anything. Ah, this is not what I had planned. And she starts like randomly whacking buttons on the dashboard. Right. Turn it off. If I go ahead and make a technology check, uh, intelligence okay. technology to fix the van. Oh, thank God for that. I'm good at these things. This is where I roll absolutely terribly. Okay, one, two, three, four, eight dice. <laughs> oh no, Helena! <laughs> I failed all eight dice. Wow, willpower, bitch, willpower! I got two, two ones. What are the odds I got of that? Three, one and eight. Two, a one and two fours. Oh no! Ten. Yeah, wow. Oh, I'm so stressed. I've just ruined everything. Oh no! Stacy, willpower. The Wi-Fi. How do I use in. that? Hold on. How do I use willpower? Just a second. The Wi-Fi kicks in, and you start live streaming. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is what. Oh, all right. Now, okay, I feel better. Okay. So, how how does how does Stacy use her willpower? Um, I don't, I don't know. How does one use willpower? Yeah, you um, re-roll all of the non-hunger. I think you roll up to three non-hunger dice mm -hmm. okay. for a willpower roll, and you check off one of your your unfilled in boxes. Yep. Okay, great. This doesn't stop. Uh, I'm kicking the doors through, and I'm jumping out this car. Okay, so I have. I cannot be in this room with so much light. That's yeah, horrible. <laughs> Jack just sort of walks over to Ricky and like takes How his coat off. How did I do this? Wait, Gosh. hold on. What happened? I have four ones, a ten, and a two. Wow. How did I'm I out. Roll I... four ones? I dive out the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> just dive uh, out the back. I can't see. I'm, uh, I'm dying. Uh, I go with him. Okay. okay. Uh, that is a Dex and Athletics check uh, for both of you who are diving out the car. You can... Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking at disadvantage of this as well. Uh, Dex go? and Athletics. Yes. All right. As we go, uh, Jack would like to activate fleetness and try and like leap so that he grabs onto Ricky at the same time. He's going to like try and drop, drop and roll as they land out of the van. Okay, I got a singular six. I fail my <laughs> hunger check, so I am a hungry boy. Okay. Am... Yeah. Give me a sec. And dexterity, <clears throat> athletics, and celerity, which is. I think it's just time to burn my dice, guys. There's no, there's nothing else for it. They've just all got to go. Woo! Yeah, for everyone suggesting new dice, uh, you can get some at darkmoondice.co.uk. <laughs> our lovely guest star, Laura. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, for being here. Laura. I think I need them. These ones have betrayed me. Uh... <laughs> That's four successes. Four successes. Okay. Yeah. Jack uh, and Ricky managed to safely get out of the van, and we will. Uh, we're going to split the party then. Okay. Just outside, just with a, the worst migraine. All right. And a small amount of damage. <laughs> All right. So we're going to uh, stick with the van for the moment, ladies and gentle thems. What are we going to do? We're going to start with Morgan. What are you doing? So Morgan is rooting around in their bag and is currently, has no idea what to do. So they're just making something. All right. What they are making, making <laughs> something exploding because that is what they do in times of stress. All right. 
go ahead and uh, make your thing. Uh, your making explosives roll. Craft weaponsmith, I assume. Sure. That's Q a dexterity in craft. Yeah. And then I get an extra die because I've got the weaponsmith thing, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then dexterity. Okay, okay, okay. It's six and above, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four. That's four successes. Yeah, that's four successes. Roll it again. Okay, I like that. Eh. Ooh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five successes. Two crits. Okay, so uh, we're gonna treat this as uh, it's. I think it's a bestial success where your beast won't works is the one that takes over. So you succeed, but you succeed in the most bestial way possible in making your explosion. Okay. <laughs> so describe your your beastly uh, explosive device. This is nasty, explodey terrible um so yeah morgan has just literally gone into their bag full of what is left of the explosive stuff and then they sort of look around and start like "Ooh, those components will work and is taking stuff off the van and is plugging it in and is just making basically a big bomb that she can throw at the awful thing that's flying towards the van okay all right, so that's what you got. All right, so let's go to five. What are you doing? Well, I'm hoping that that one was enough to at least stop live streaming. Because everybody's now going to think that Jacoby is me. Yes. Okay. We <laughs> managed to successfully stop the live stream, but the van is still going crazy wild. All right, I'm going to try it again. I'm, I'm going to just try to stop the van from going crazy. Okay, make yeah. your technology check again. Actually, first okay. make a drive check. Make a drive check. Okay, that drive. one is... All right, do not, do not, do not. Okay, that's not so bad. I got four successes on five dice. Roll it again. <laughs> again, mm -hmm. for a drive check. Wait, wait, wait. Roll it again. I got three successes. Okay, you only got three successes. Okay. But um, yeah, you're able to drive. Yeah. You feel for a moment like you've got it. You're on control, and and you you're in the moment, and it's everything's gonna be fine. And then it, you you sort of hit something, and you swerve a little bit. And it, it's not not that great. And then your technology okay. check again. Okay. One, two, three, four successes. Roll it again. <sighs> okay. One, two, three successes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You. It works absolutely perfectly for a moment. Then it glitches out, and then it comes back, and it's 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 okay. But there's still some. It's under control now, but it was touch and go for a minute. Mm. Helena, what's you up to? At least we're not live streaming. Um, Helena is all out having a bit of a meltdown like she's she's like almost catatonic which she doesn't know what to do like her the two people that she was in this situation because of just jumped out the back of the van she's not <laughs> entirely sure if she's in a better position because of that her first thing is that she wants to take a look and see if uh timmy fingers has has been diverted by their diving out the back uh make a wits and uh, awareness check all righty um Look at my sheet. Cool. Uh, two successes. Okay, roll it again. Okay. Four successes. Two successes it is. You uh, do not see Timmy Fingers anymore. <sighs> okay. Um... She sort of like turns back to the van and like looks at Morgan. I more presume Morgan at this time is simultaneously scrapping together yes. what she was building, right? Like, yeah. Yep. Um, well, I have some good news. We're not being followed anymore. Oh, well, I guess I'll keep this for later. <laughs> Wait, what are you building back there? Nothing. 
And let me just turn this off. There we go. Rune, what are you up to? <laughs> um, is there... Oh, wait, am I allowed to use... I'm not sure if this works. Um, am I allowed to use, like... I don't know if it's performance or persuasion to try and help <coughs> by, like, trying to get in control of the van? No, that would be a drive tech. Um, I Without. mean, you could try and use... I'll let you use persuasion to try and help calm Helena down. Because she's still probably freaked out a little bit by what, what happened to her. Sure. All right. So make a charisma and uh, either performance or persuasion. Um. Okay. Performance. I, I roll... Is that three dice? Uh, you use your charisma, uh, which is, I think it was four, what we talked about. Four, yeah. And then your performance, which is three, or persuasion, whichever one that was. And then remember to add in your hunger die. Which is just one, right? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. You just substitute one of those dice for one of your seven... So it's six regular die and then one hunger die. Okay. All right. And then roll that. Okay. And then... You need to get six or above. If you get any tens or any ones, let me know. Yeah, I got um, three ones. One on my... <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> who needs new dice? <laughs> Everybody does now. I got, yeah, one on my hunger die, okay. one, three ones, one eight, two eights, and a five. Okay, so we're going to stay with that one, because I don't think you can do any work. <laughs> don't say that, Lee. Don't I say mean, that. It's, she it's will. It's <laughs> true, but it still hurts. <laughs> okay, uh, and also, uh, you, next time, you mark your hunger as two, and next time you roll two hunger dice instead. Oh, okay. Oh. But uh, you do not, in fact, succeed in calming Helena down. Helena, let's see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, your oblivion sort of kicks in as a side effect and you get the shadowy stuff moving around and you you don't really have a way to control it but it's more like a thematic effect mm -hmm. okay, so it's just it's like boom your beast has started to handle your oblivion for you and then let's see rune let's see oh Let's see. Oh, you see that the car right now currently is headed towards a bridge over a very large and deep ravine, and underneath it is a big river. C can I try and like, like reach for it and like, like whack? <laughs> see, like. Are you trying to drive? <laughs> I just want to make very, make it very clear that they, I want her to be looking at where she's going. Okay. I'm not, oh, yeah. not, I know that I'm necessarily helping. Do I yeah, see yeah. the same thing in front of me? What? The, there's a bridge? Do I see the big ravine in the bridge? The bridge? Yes, but it's it's a normal bridge. It's fine. You, okay. It's it's a good four lanes. It's a solid bridge. Yeah, so I don't know why she's hitting me on no. the arm. No, you don't. Okay. All right, I would be able to drive better if you were whacking me! I just want to make sure you saw the bridge. You can see the bridge. Right? I can see the bridge. You can I see that there's a left bridge. side and a right side. And you, you know where the middle of it is, right? This is my house. Okay, okay. Your house? Oh, weird. Okay, all right, okay. Just making sure that you saw the bridge. All see right. the bridge. And for, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take this moment to switch cameras and go to Jack and Ricky, who are by the road. Um, Hello. And interestingly, as oh. soon as you get out of the van, the migraine effect fades. You feel great. You feel fine. Jack, you feel you okay. A, you still feel a little weird, but it doesn't feel as pressing as it was before. You okay, dude? The fucking lights. Oh, you know, it's just spots. I just. Yeah, just that's fair. Them away. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, we've got problems. I'm assuming Timmy. What was his name? Timmy Toes? Timmy 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 Appendages. Timmy, Timmy Elbows. Was his name? Elbow Boy. Elbow yeah. Boy. Got it. You hear cool. <clears throat> Oh hello. it's fingers, actually. Not a yeah, better Timmy name. Toes. You were close enough, man. Yeah. And yeah. you turn so, around and he's there. He doesn't have hello. his hat on. He's just holding it under his arm. Uh, but he's leaning on his cane. 
cool. So, hello. How uh, are you? Is it going to be a finger or a favor? <sighs> what does that mean? Are it, you propositioning me? It means you can... <laughs> it's just like an ass, gas, or grass kind of situation. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either, okay, cool. either wow, you great. give me one of your fingers, or you owe right. me a favor. Okay. Firstly, I've done nothing new, so you're getting fuck all from me. Secondly, why? Just well, why? <laughs> I, I literally, you just tried to blow me up. No, I didn't do any of that. Okay. So it's either going to be a finger or a favor. You can pick. I'm I'm a nice guy. But Are Jack, you? Jack, I'm, nice I'm sorry, buddy. Me. It's going to be two fingers or two favors from you. <laughs> for, okay, for not blowing up the house and for not propositioning your wife. Mm -hmm. I'll fuck your wife if that's what it takes. How many I would think, uh, oh, hold on, Ricky. Or my friend. Okay, how do you know my name? Well, it's a long story. But how many fingers are you actually looking to lose this evening? Oh, man, I really wish that you were at all scary. Um, yeah. Just, I've dealt with so many people like you before, and I'm really at this point. What, like, why? Oh, I go, ooh, ooh, you're going to take a finger. Okay. Mm hmm. And who, who what are you is getting? that going to do? Congratulations, you get a jar of ash by morning. What are you getting from this guy? Because I'm definitely getting Prague vibes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Do, you, do you want a specific finger? Is there a specific one you like? Because I've got bad cuticles, my dude. Like, I, you know. Whatever finger you want to give to me. It's, it's your choice. Ooh, dealer's oh, choice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Magnanimous. Yeah. I, I'm, a, what, I'm a generous ooh, ooh. guy. See, here's the Apparently thing, though. Not. I feel that if I'm gonna, if I say favor, you're just gonna say my favor is that you give me a finger. No, no, no. It's just uh, we'll we'll cash in on it later. I I have other work that I need to do. I I have business to attend elsewhere, and I'd really just kind of like to wrap this up and get back to my wife. So just make a choice, guys. I just turned to um to Jacoby. <laughs> Who is this guy again? Uh, I think. I think uh, yeah. I, I I'm just I'm just guessing here. I think this is the guy who is emblematic of a larger problem mm -hmm. in the Camarilla not listening when we tell them things. Mm -hmm. mm. That's that could be it. Oh. Yes, uh, my official title um, is Archon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Emblematic of the larger problem of the Camarilla not fucking listening. Because if you'll recall, when I left the tower, I did say, if any of you ever fucking came for me, I would make sure that no kindred ever across the eastern seaboard and beyond wasn't aware of your sins. Mm -hmm. And I, I still, I keep, I keep that. I hold to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have a... Hang on. What? And I'm still looking at Jacobine. Just go, hang on. Wasn't the, wo the woman that you transed a human? <laughs> exactly. And Which you is why have I a human wife. I do. Yes. Well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. Yeah. So, do the tower know? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and that's allowed. We've been together for a very long time. Oh my god. They and know? Yes. Interesting. Of they know. <laughs> so they're okay with the num like what, number, I don't know, 15, 26th Archon running around with a, a kind? Because yes. that's a breach, ain't it? So are you just going to have to, you know, <coughs> yourself? Not, that seems... when, are you gonna... not when she's a ghoul, no. I mean, still, though. Yeah. That's still real sticky, my guy. Uh, weird. Yeah, but, uh, that's, that's not really the concern we have right now, because, again, I mean, the choices are favor or finger, or I'm sort of, you're kind of putting me in a corner here. And I'm gonna no. have to acknowledge your crimes against the Camarilla and bring you both in. And I'd really just like to get back to my wife tonight. So, what's it gonna be, guys? Finger favor? I like neither. Yeah. yeah. Neither... Kinda like neither. Yeah. Well, yeah. Neither is we take you into the Camarilla. So that that's your choice. <laughs> For what? In a second, I... I just take my phone out very quickly and just just. Could you just give us quick, a sec to confer? You know, we'd like to, we like to assess. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Just defy and just wait. 
hey, turn back around and come get us. <laughs> Just... I... Oh, no. <laughs> like, I'm going to be you know what? My Fuck it. Bring it on. Is probably connected to the Bluetooth and the Wi Fi of the van, which means that the entire text message is probably read aloud by a Microsoft Sam sounding mother. Amazing. <laughs> So it's just turn around. <laughs> like, oh. You know what? <laughs> I ain't particularly the fighty kind of person, but you know what? Honestly, after being shipped across the world by a cunt, this is the thing I'm into. And I just bring out feral weapons. <laughs> just immediate fangs, big snake teeth, big claws. Let's fucking go. Okay, hold on. Just a second while we're doing that. You're gonna you're gonna fight him? Yeah. <laughs> I can hear how many dice are being rolled. Okay. Jack, your hunger increases by one. Alright. <laughs> All right, uh, and then I think we're going to go ahead and go to combat. If you're just going to attack him, or, or are you going to do anything else? Uh, Jackie boy, you, you, you jump it in. <laughs> um, Jack is activating Daunt immediately, <laughs> like man. right off the bat. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, he... go ahead and roll your dot. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, let's jiggity do this. We're not going to go deep. Dice rolling combat session. It's just yeah, of course. Um, let me just find you the specific. Okay, so instead of attracting people, the a vampire uses presence to repel. With this power, the user appearing appears threatening as gives an aura of menace, power enough to make the most mortals avoid their attention. Even vampires think twice about attacking them. Mm -hmm. um, add the user's presence rating into uh, any intimidation rules. Uh, attacking the user requires resolve and composure roll at difficulty two. Okay, go ahead. All right, so ba, ba, ba. this daunt. So one, two, this is a stupid amount of dice. Um, one, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I'm gonna use a willpower. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and use that. I like that. A little willpower thing. I'm gonna My little use willpower a willpower. Song. My willpower song. Yeah. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Great. Excellent. Good job. Uh, you notice as Ricky activates his feral weapons and Jack turns on his dot there is actually a change in Timmy Finger's demeanor. <laughs> and he turns and he looks at Jack and he goes, you know what, buddy? And he tries to put his arm around you in this really friendly style. I, I do actually see why my wife likes you. You know, you're kind of a charming man. And I, I'm not an unreasonable man, my friend. Uh, but I'll, I'll go back to our original deal, okay? A finger or a favor, both of you. And then the problem goes away for now. And we can just revisit it at a later date. Clearly you guys are both busy. And I have someone else to find. Okay, so just the one favor we're back to, right? We're haggling. Just the one favor. Yeah. Or great, later. great. Because uh, I gotta say, man, I really fucking hate your attitude. It's I don't know great. why. I'm, uh, I really kind of find you nice and charming. Oh, you seem to be I am. I am. You, you seem like the kind of guy we could be friends with. Maybe sit down, watch a game, have a good time. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Sure. A favor. What a can favor. I do for you, buddy? Well, I'll I'll let you know when it gets to there. But uh, I really appreciate you working this out for me. Uh, you seem like a stand-up guy. <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I mean, my wife likes you. You can't be all that bad. Oh, Roxanne, you, you tell her hi from me. I will. She has been asking about you. She said if you see if you see that Jack, let him know. I said hi. <sighs> Great. She on Instagram? 
I'll find her later. Oh, Don't I worry know. about it. I'm not. I'm not part of that. But uh, maybe she is. Maybe she isn't. I really. I like you, Jack. I really do. You seem like. You seem like you and I. We could be friends. Uh huh. Uh huh. You want to be friends? No, I'm just saying we could be. You know, if we really the time was right, different circumstances. But See, that's interesting, because you just threatened my business partner. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to, to make you mad or anything like that. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, I but mean, I... here's the thing, pal. You can come for me all you like, but the second you fucking come for Ricky, oh, oh mm, I'm, a, I'm not impressed. So you are, you're trying to burn me up here. How about you just fuck off and we'll, we'll start this favor? Maybe would I less want to rip your throat out and feed it to you? Well, I certainly understand your urge to do that, but you know, I, I business is biz love is love, and business is business this is business, my friend. So, Ricky Dorada. Yeah. Yeah. So, finger or favor? It, and I, just one of the two, and I go away. Easy as that. It, you seem like you're stressed, but my friend Jack here, he seems to really like you. Did something large hit your head when that place exploded? Or no. are you this dumb the entire time? Oh, I'm not dumb, no. Are you sure this guy's your friend, Jack? He seems really hostile. And you're still, <laughs> still All right. coming. You are still fucking you know getting what? it in. Fine. If it'll make you go the fuck away. Yeah. And I just tear my uh, my middle finger off right. and just throw it at him. All right, he catches it and he uh, flips it up. Sticks Enjoy. It in his All right, That'll but... turn to ash in like three seconds because <laughs> I'm 500 years old. Yeah. <laughs> just... Okay, so he'll uh, he'll throw it up in the air. It turns to ash. Yes. All right, good enough for me. Pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen, and uh, I hope Enjoy. you have a nice night. And he Fuck turns off. and he walks away. It just. Walks away, whistling. He's a happy guy. Jacoby. Yeah? He really Quite seemed to like you, Jack. Point. Very friendly guy. I'm gonna kill that man, and I'm gonna feed every speck of ash that comes from his body to every single one of his childer until they vomit vitae the length and breadth of the fucking salt sea. <laughs> I'm going to bite his wife and watch as she recoils for four hours and then pe dies panting in the warts. It's going to be very bad. Very yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling... Oh, okay. I yeah. I, th what I think, think? we just... Mamba uh... Venom? Gaboon Viper. Boon Viper. Ooh. I think Boon Viper. And then I think uh, once we've uh, put Sienna and Marianne in the fucking ground, we go and deal with this bullshit. I'm already past my C, like level of bullshit that I yeah. can deal with. Yeah. Okay. Also, the fuck was that thing with no face? What the fuck was that thing with no fucking face? I, what the I, fuck is this venture? I just like my claws recoiling into my own fingers as my teeth pull back into my skull. And, and, on top of everything, I got blood on my fucking shoes! Yeah, that's not, yeah, that's not gonna come out. No, it's oh, not. Those are white shoes. Yeah. Why are you wearing white shoes? Because fashion, Ricky. God. Yeah, okay. I get that, but... Fuck. Okay. No, I'm not going to argue. All right. Let's switch oh, back. I texted five. We should be back. Let's switch to five. You did yeah, get the message but... across the speakers. Yeah, I would have turned around to try and find them again. All Just right. feel like... So the I van... didn't even realize they jumped out the van. The van pulls up. Uh, after a few moments and uh, it there's... just looks like a loud flushing ice cream truck at this point jack i need you to bird box me into the house i need you to bird box me in <laughs> <laughs> i can't look at this i really can't <laughs> i will die just... i'd like to park up the van and then take a few minutes to just Flip everything off. This is my van. I know where the off switches are. Right. I'm just gonna start. Make, make a going technology through. check. All right. Okay, take your bets. How many fails am I gonna get this time? Oh, okay. One, two, four. Four, four successes. Four successes. Roll it again. Okay. 
hurts. <laughs> Got a finger. Four successes. Okay, well, uh, then everything's fine. Uh, uh, Fi is able to turn everything off uh, and successfully shut everything down. And Ricky and Jack get back in the van. And then it's calm, it's quiet, it's dark for a minute. And then... Calm is a strong word. <laughs> Calm is not the operative term. It's a tense. Nope. It's a tense. <laughs> there is Jack and Ricky look like they are about to punch the nearest building into the ocean <laughs> for fun. Like they... I have no hat. I've got this. I've got this. And Jack, Jack still has all up, um daunt up, by the way. So like no, no, you guys know, it's, it's just punch it's back awe. into it. Pardon? It's awe. Um, I specified daunt. But it's awe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I suppose that's the case then. Um, sure. So yeah, he's uh, he is angry, but he's really hot about it. Yeah, then. It's really um, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, great. Yeah. He's got this really sex and sexy intensity to it. It's really yeah, uh, of course. Dark. And that was like a, a rainstorm when he got into the car as well. So he's like just like. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, his shirt's clinging to him in all the right places. It's horrible. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Can we all hear that? Or yep. was that just... Wait, what was that? Look, I had to turn off the van, man. It was really loud. Anyone else hear that? Wait, you guys can hear that too? Yeah, there's some of in here. You really shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm fuck done. off, whatever Ooh, you are. Ass. Fuck off. I don't care. Just... No. I'm done. Did I mean... you do something that you shouldn't have done? Or not just... done again? I can turn the AC back on, I guess. But that would be I nice, really actually. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. The little yeah. stuffy back here. <laughs> All right, guys bye. are fucked. Oh. <laughs> you need a lozenge. You really do, man. It's like, it's not cool. Like, laryngitis is a real issue for Kindred, it's, especially it's, when you I get would, to the middle of a condition. You're not getting I, rid of that. I would like to activate, uh, I believe it's Auspex, mm -hmm. but I've forgotten which one it is that allows me to see things and heartbeats and shit. Okay. Uh, heightened senses? Mm, I don't have, I have heightened senses, not sense the unseen. It's easy. So I'd like yeah, to activate my heightened senses just okay. to be all like, where is this voice coming from? Okay. Uh, does that come with a roll fidget? No, it's free. All right. Uh, there is. There are six people in the van. Uh, Cat. Or sorry. Uh, Rune, Helena, Fi, Jack, Ricky, and Morgan. Okay, that's great. So the voice is in my head. That's normal. The voice being in everybody else's head. That's not normal. <laughs> Fi, you want to drive us back to the, the warehouse that we need to go to? Is anyone yeah. sat up front with Fi, or is Fi just on her own? I'm fairly sure I have Rune next to me. Because yeah. oh, Rune sorry, is yeah, kind of like, me, me and trying to help yeah. me out. Yeah. That's so right. I'm sure Rune's next to me. Um, so... Yeah. Sure. Cool. Um, can you shut the back? Yeah, sorry, yeah. I got this. Can ah. we not jump out next time? Like, it just put my headphones on. They're noise cancelling. In, in Actually, fairness, we'll fix the problem. Wait a minute. Uh, fine. Never mind. There are more than six people in the van. In fact, you find yourself are surrounded by people. Like, literally, there is people on all sides of you. There's someone in your lap. They're pressing up against you. There are more people than possibly could fit in this van, but only for five. Yeah. They're, they're they're touching. Like, you. can I see physical people? You see physical people. Yes, they're touching you. They are going through your ah. pockets. One of them right, is get, get out. heavily on your neck. Leave me alone. Ah, why are there so many people in here? Ha ah, ah, ha. Okay. <sighs> ah, why are there so many people in this van? Get the right, back. How get the are you out. with somebody else ah. driving? Just get okay. them away! Like, like, no, no, leave me alone! Just, like, out of my van! Everybody, please! Can I try, like, put my arm, like, in front, like, there's, there's nobody there! Yeah, there's you just, uh, nobody there! Just, 
stop waving your head. Uh, no, I'm, just, just, all right. uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna be in here. If anyone needs me. Uh, Jacobia was at here. I'm now at here. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, I've, I've gone past the level. I, I genuinely, uh, I thought after fucking, yeah. after, after Moscow, we'd hit the level and we'd found a new one. This is more than that. You would Why are there me. so many people? Are we in the middle of a forest? Why? What are you talking about? There's no one in here apart from us assholes and our <laughs> growing sense of dread and despair. Where's the nearest Uber? Where is the nearest fucking Uber? <laughs> you have a phone. You have Uber Plus. Check. Wait, like, uh, if anybody <laughs> did want to try and drive, my keys are still in the engine. I haven't touched them. No, I don't I'm drive busy myself. Flat. I haven't driven myself since the fucking 19th century. Ugh. I got scared when I saw a car for the first time. <laughs> it was I'm going to find wherever my cat head is and put it on. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm going to put my DJ Morgan cat head will get into the front and my fucking head. drive the car. <laughs> Fucking Morgan coming through. Morgan, I or... just tuck myself in a Hold corner. On. Do you have any drive? No. No. Okay. So then Morgan, we're gonna let Morgan drive. Yes. <laughs> Morgan, do you have any drive? Uh, I mean, I'm not planning on doing any fancy tricks. I'm just gonna drive the fucking van. Right. I just need to know if you have any. No. Okay. Great. Well, uh, let's let's hope you can manage. <laughs> so <clears throat> you get in. You turn on the van. You start to drive, and everything's fine for a while. Um, as you're going, you're coming up on that bridge again over the ravine. Uh, and yeah, it, it seems like smooth sailing for right now. But the, Morgan's driving well, right? Like it's 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 a steady pace. We're obeying the speed limit. We're staying in one lane. We're yeah, sure. <laughs> what part of this made you feel like we're gonna stay in the right lane? Well, the I mean the correct lane. It, it you see that there's a bridge there, right? Hmm? Hmm? Do you want to drive this van? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just making I'm just making conversation. Um, do you like bridges? Jackie, it's up here. Yeah. Why don't you talk to someone that likes talking? <laughs> okay. All right. I like I like go up behind Rune and I'm just like perching on her chair. Like, so when was your last performance? Um. Uh, um. Uh, uh, it's 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 been a while. Um. Mm. I, I kind of only dance. It's just a hobby, more so now than than anything else. Um, uh huh. I'm very very busy with lots of other things. Um, I can see that. You, that bridge doesn't look like it's gonna fall down, does it? I mean, it looks well built. Do you know? What I mean, let me tell you. The last I, time I went <laughs> over a bridge and it collapsed, I was stuck under a rock for two years. It was awesome. Mm. So I'm sure if that happens, you'll get to have the exact same wonderful experience. Won't that be fun? <sighs> that, sounds, that sounds thrilling. Um, I mean, it looks well built, right? For I mean, sure. It's, it's straight, you know? Dirtier than my relationship with my dad. Oh, is that flimsy? Yeah. Oh, good, good to know. Yeah, did you uh, did did you do something, or did he do something, or did you both do something? Uh, yes. Go okay. Yeah, that was informative. I learned um, the best is all I'm saying. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, mom, mommy issues. You seem like the kind to have mommy issues. Oh no, she like died a long, long time ago. Oh, yeah. She died long before I could generate any issues regarding that sort of like mother thing. I mean. Mm. Toby real. Toby totally real. That's mommy issues bit overrated. Too many kindred with those. <laughs> Rune's not laughing, I am. <laughs> yeah. Rune's just like like her arms gripped on the seats, just staring forward, trying to make sure the car doesn't swerve. Mentally. Just pat you on the head, I'm like, you're doing great, kiddo. <laughs> and then go back into the van <laughs> and sit behind Ricky. I just look over at Helena. Are you still freaking the fuck out? <laughs> no. Cool. No, Hel Helena was okay. She was like, um, there was there was definite spoops, is what I'd say. She's she's more alarmed. <laughs> like there's no, it's not terror. She's just a bit alarmed at everything that's going on. Um, so, um, yeah. So we we dealt with the Archon. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's a dick, by the way. Yeah. Also, he's dating a breather, and the camera okay with it. So like that something. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, standards are oh, decaying. God. Are you sure about that? Does not that does not sound correct? <laughs> yeah. He said it to our face. Apparently, they've made exceptions. Mm. Yeah, she was pretty fucking warm, dude. Well, people lie, so report it anyway, yeah? Oh, absolutely. You bet. But um, we will we will see. Maybe uh, maybe we can uh, get a dossier on these fucks. It's been a while since the last blood hunt. The oh, last like... one? Yeah. I How many it. have it's you fun. been involved in? Uh, oh god. Uh, I have lost count. You know, that's really fun. I have actually lost count. But, um... Never been legally involved. That is not reassuring at all. They're no, good no, we're fun. We're not the subjects. Although, no, hang on. Three for me. Um, yeah. Oh, aren't they? That's the best. Yeah. I'll always remember. You always remember your first blood hunt, don't you? Don't you always remember your first? You guys oh, are man. hear a pop, like a loud bang, pop noise. And Morgan, I need you to make me a drive check, a dexterity, if you don't have drive. Cool. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ah! That See? one's gone forever. Yeah. That's one success. One success. Well, again. Okay, hang on. Okay. Uh, ooh, three successes. Okay, so one success. Uh, you are barely able to make to keep control on the van as it starts crossing into the bridge over the ravine. It starts swerving towards the guardrail. Uh, but you are able to keep it on lane and keep going, but you have lost a tire at this point. Nailed. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Hey, Fee, do you have spare tire? Yes, what are you doing with my van? I'm driving it, obviously. What was that loud bang? The tire was exploding. What? How'd you explode a tire? No, it just went boom. Driving through the foothills of Spain, it's not exactly Are the, all the uh, gone? paved of roads. When we get to the other side of the bridge, I'll pull over. The, the people like... are still digging through your pockets, by and <laughs> and playing with your hair, uh, touching you. There's one of them that's like breathing against your neck. It's mm, yeah, not not fun. Bye is just gonna stop. Really loudly humming Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> <Putting the dubstep. laughs> yep, there's, yeah. she's mixing in the beatboxing, she's mixing in the dubstep, but it's all done by her own face because she has no idea where anything else is and there's too many people. So she's just like, da 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 da. Like crying <laughs> into a massive great cat DJ head, like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Pretty yeah. much, just like ah. But she does say, yes, yeah, she has a she has a tire. Yes, but you know, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you you are able to make it safely across the bridge, and you pull over to repair the to to change out the tire to spare. Who is changing the tire? Who's getting out with her to change the or with them to change the tire? Uh, would this be... going to stay right where she is. Well, she would doesn't this be trust herself like touching technology any of this. or science or craft or anything like that? Yeah, it's a technology check. We'll cool, think. I will get out the car and do the tire. I imagine we're all going to have to get out the car anyway, because we're going to have to pull the car up on a jack. Who has potents? Yeah, <laughs> me. Did my I don't need a shine? jack, I am a do jack. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, Helena has prowess, so she can add her potents to her strength. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Get it, Helena. <laughs> Helena, lift! <laughs> also same. <laughs> <laughs> Helena, lift. <laughs> Hashtag well, if you Helena guys lift the car, I'll do the... I'll do the... Hashtag Dentella! No, Dentella. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the best way to lift up a car is to put none of the weight in your legs, all of it in your back and crotch. Lift I... up with an a lifting, twisting, jerking motion. Lifting, twisting, jerking motion. Yeah, baby. Should ask Timmy Fingers about that one. <laughs> uh, okay, you need a rouse check from me to add points to yes. my rating, and then I will be strong enough. So bear with me two seconds. That is a pass. No more hungry. Roll it again. 
No more hungry. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Helena, like, you guys see her basically steal herself. Like, all that kind of, like, worry and her eyes flicking around just disappears. It's almost like um, she's actually just really glad to have something that she can get on with. So she sort of, like, steals herself and focuses. You see her, like, roll up her sleeves, and she just sort of lets out a low grunt, squats down, and just lifts the car straight up. All right, Morgan. You're... Weirdly attracted. <laughs> Weirdly attracted. It's, 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 we we love a strong lady here on oh. uh, on the on the the badger game. Yeah. Here, so. Morgan is momentarily distracted and then replaces the cat. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all just kind of like Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll a um. <laughs> we'll we'll call it an machine. intelligence and technology check. Jackie Damn! Oh, I've got to replace some girls on the side. Like, <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, in the case of the vapors. Oh, and the science as well. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. So that's three successes. I assume you want to roll again. Okay, that was two successes for that one. All right, well, either way, you managed to successfully replace the car, the, the tire on the car. I replaced the whole car. Yeah, awesome. you replaced the whole car. Like, and you built the, the first car into a bomb, and then there's you built another car out of the replacement parts. It's really Yeah, cool. I hope you don't mind, Fee, but the whole car is a bomb now. <laughs> the whole car is a bomb now. <laughs> she can't hear you. <laughs> right, she's trying okay. her best not to hear anything. In it's fact, so she's about okay. two seconds away from climbing into a box. And All right, Morgan definitely it. said that in French. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you guys get back in the car. Uh start of the van everyone sitting buckled in nice and tight uh and then uh fight you have some sort of like amazon echo google voice home thing going yeah on, right yeah okay yeah i'd probably have some sort of voice control for this thing yeah but it's something that i mean because you mentioned earlier that it was playing a text out of yeah. speaking a text out of yeah. speakers okay uh well uh the van's system goes off phone call phone incoming call incoming call mm incoming call from and fires, find fires. Out after the break <laughs> who is calling you who is calling five god is that you <laughs> <laughs> and with that we'll go ahead and take a break uh and in a moment uh, once we're back from the break, we'll go ahead and do our giveaway of a copy of Chicago by Night, where you can read all about La Sombra Lake Helena and their cool potents and shadow powers, and all the other fun stuff about Chicago in the world of darkness. So we're going to take a short break. Uh, don't leave. you got to find out who's calling, and it's somebody that we've all patiently been waiting for since before the game began. And uh, we'll see you soon.
Leland Graham's Pandemonium Warehouse Shopping Network. Shipping Goblin Bob here is going to tell you all about our new Platinum Edition. It's my favorite. Thanks, George. Friends, are you tired of putting a cat, a flask of poison, and a source of radiation into a sealed box and having to settle for a cat that's dead or alive? Well, Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium Warehouse has the product for you. Introducing the Schrodinger's Cat Platinum Edition. With the Schrodinger's Platinum Box, you can have both versions of your pet at the same time. Free yourself from objective collapse and enjoy a cat that simultaneously exists in two decoherent realities. It's time for atomic indeterminacy to enter the macroscopic domain. It's time for Schrodinger's Cat Platinum Edition. <laughs> yeah. She's totally dead. But totally alive. Only from Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium Warehouse. Simultaneously available and sold out now. And we're back. Thank you so much for sticking through us. Through Oh, I guess we're still on the episode three. This is actually should be episode four of the uh, Badger game called Paper Moon. Thank you so much for sticking with us, guys, through the break. We appreciate you staying, and we hope you're having fun tonight watching us play Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, we'll do some quick shout-outs, and then we'll go ahead and do our uh, giveaway. So let's see who is in chat tonight. Let's see who we got. We got 7-Eleven. Hi, babe. Thanks for joining us. Art J O M V two. Hello. Thank you for being here. Baron Snowhand. Thanks, Baron. We always appreciate seeing you here. Biff Boff Barf 370. Thank you, babe. Love you. Bing Cortana. Hi. Carbon 14 XYZ. Chav Hunter 86. Hi, Chav Hunter 86. Commander Root. Crimson Nexus Stain Jarrus. That's our fantastic world class hero, Ricky Dorada, who lost a finger to Timmy Fingers. Hello, Ricky Dorada. Thank you. Dragon Spire. Hey, babe. Love you. Dr. Molt Kaladin, who thank you very much for being there to cackle evilly in my ear and whisper evil suggestions. Thanks for being there. Florist Friar. I love that name. <laughs> thank you so much for staying here. Fortune Favors. That is our missing Bree Davis from Level Up Dice. Thank you so much for joining us on the stream. Uh, let's see. Who else we have? I uh, appreciate you that you could be here, even though that you can't be here in person that you're watching us. Uh, let's say hi to Photo Dark Ages. Thank you, Photo Dark Ages, for being here with us. Good and chaotic. That's our Jacoby DL. Hi. 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 Insanity Squad 2020. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the air. That's our Morgan LeFay. Thank you for uh, being our non binary chaos goblin. We always appreciate having you here. Carla Feloy 87. Hi. Kaylee Marie, hi Kaylee Marie, Lithe, Lilia Jane, that's our fantastic Helena Dean, who is actually not causing all the technology problems that we've had tonight for a change. Must be nice to take a break. <laughs> My first name is taken, hello, Pieties, hello Pieties. Pizza Sandwich, Pizza Sandwich, our all-star. Hello, thank you for being here. Uh, R-A-R-A-1-D-N Raidens, is that Raidens? Uh, we're going to call him Raidens. Hi, Raidens. Romeo Indigo Echo, that's our Fi. Hi, Fi. Thanks for being here. Hi, Fi. Hello. Oh, 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 like Hi, the soundtrack. Oh. Hi, Fi. <laughs> Rookie Ron. Wi -Fi. Not, not to be confused with <laughs> Wi-Fi. Or hi, uh, you know, Fi Hi or anything else. Uh, Ricky Ross, hi there. Ryan Theravale, hello. Skilbo Fraggins, yes. Thank you, Skilbo Fraggins. Always nice to have a visitor from the Shire. Tom Toms, hello. Thanks for being here. T Bird and a bunch of numbers. Hi, T Bird. B and K. Valen Vane, hi, Valen Vane. Vanilla Tricks, hello. Vanilla Tricks, fantastic person to be here. Varda Turumbar, hello. And Virgo Paws, thanks so much for joining us, guys. We always appreciate our guests. Uh, and now we have our final giveaway of Chicago by Night for this stream. After tonight, we will start giving away a new book. So I can't wait uh, to see what's there. Tonight we're giving away Chicago by Night. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and to, uh, we'll give it away to the first person who can tell us the specific clan that is mentioned in Chicago by Night. So if you know who that is... 
let us know. Oh, hold on. We lost Lily and now she's back, so we're gonna have to figure out if everyone's in the right place. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, everyone is Come exactly back. in the right place. That's perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Baron Snowhand won last week, so it is actually Dr. Molt Kaladin. You win, Chicago by night. It is La Sombra, the specific clan that is mentioned in Chicago by night, so you win. Congratulations, Dr. Molt Kaladin. Thank you very much for playing. If you would please message one of our mods with your name and email address, we will make sure you get your copy right away. So thank you very much, and sorry to everyone else who, pre uh, who, who participated and tried, uh, but good job. Thanks so much for playing, and let's get back to our vampires um, and find out what they've been doing and who's calling them. Who is calling on the vampire phone in the van? The vampire telephone. Let's go ahead and see. So uh, there is a call coming through on the vampire phone as Morgan and Helen get back in the car. Oh, and we lost somebody. Who did we lose? We have lost the guest. No, the guest. No, Laura. we lost the guest. No. Are we now like literally being come for one by one? Is that what's happening? <laughs> they're they're going to pick us off one by one as we go? I feel like that's it. Yeah, it's just a La Sombra antediluvian cackling whilst in the Twitch chat like, <laughs> Get them next, Jeeves! Get that one! <laughs> Alright, so hold on. Uh, why is yes. around? I'm big fan of the voice you chose for La Sombra. <laughs> 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 Mine is an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> Help me, Muttley. This is what and I have to put up with every <laughs> week. <laughs> every Sunday, if you want more hijinks like this, please come and join us. Because it's this crazy every single time. I just realized I became half Brie. Okay, okay, Cal, you can dial it back on licking people's skin. There, that's a little creepy there, buddy. <laughs> okay, so, uh, phone call coming through in on the van. It goes, incoming call, incoming call, incoming call from Mr. Waffles. And then there's like a little icon of a waffle with a smiley face. This goes back and forth and waves. I'm too busy freaking out by all the people touching me, so I'm not interested in a telephone call right now. So, so I'm literally just going to try and crawl into the nearest box. Okay. Get away <laughs> from all a, these people. There's a lot of buttons, right? There, there are, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Incoming call. Incoming call. Okay, how do I click the ignore button? <laughs> you just try to click the ignore button. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Morgan you, don't give a shit. She's gonna they're gonna reject it. There's a there's a green button for accept, there's a red button for ignore. So you go and, red. Red, and uh the call activates anyway. <laughs> okay, I keep so, trying to hang up. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jack will help, he'll like come over and <laughs> And be like, oh no, you gotta like hold it down, hold it down, or like turn off the whole thing. Can we turn off the entire van? Red Jack, please do not <laughs> lean over my shoulder while I'm driving. I am just get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Fine, make it hang up. I'm trying to all make right, sure we don't right. run off the road. <laughs> do you guys want me to help you stop the curse, or do you just want to keep the curse going? I mean, I'm, I'm easy either way. Hey there, Domino's Pizza. Can we take your order? Uh, yeah, I, I, I know who you are. We'll, we'll stick with Mr. Waffles. I don't know how she managed to change it to Mr. Waffles, but I have not yet figured out how to change it back. I did not know that Domino's did waffles. Yeah, apparently we do now. We're like diversifying our portfolio or whatever the fuck mortals do nowadays. So do you, do you want me to stop the curse or not? So are you Mr. Waffles or am I Mr. Waffles? What I, what in this? I, I'm Mr. Waffles. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your what's your deal, dude? And uh, do you want a medium or large? My name is Jeffrey Pancakes. Um... <laughs> 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 
This is Madame Le Crap. Right, no, <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Le Crap. <laughs> so we got we got Jeffrey, Jeffrey pancakes. <laughs> Morgan Le Crap. Damn it! I go away. Go for it. Do we have any more bread-based products that we want to advertise here? We got it. Okay, pizza. what do you want? <laughs> anyway. I can help end the curse, but you're gonna have to come to me. What what curse? Like you're not making a lick of sense. <laughs> okay. Lick, I made a joke. <laughs> you did. That's very funny. very cute. Okay. Anyway, aren't so, I just? You guys haven't been having the best night since you blew <laughs> up the house, have you? No shit, man. Okay. We didn't blow up a house. Who are you? What are you talking about? Okay. Just, if you're a cop, let's... you have to tell me. <laughs> Please press one to talk to a customer. <laughs> you already talked to the cop. Okay. I am not associated with the cops. In fact, if you run in <laughs> like you, Dorada. <laughs> Alright, clearly tonight we have devolved into the to the bread based puns, so let's just go ahead and keep going. Keep them come. The Power better. through. Power through. Power through, yep. So uh no, uh look. We can sit here and and pretend that what's happened hasn't happened. But let's just start with, I'm on your side. I can help you. you okay. don't owe me anything because I'm doing this as a favor to a friend. Oh, you're one of those. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Somebody's cast in a big bonus for you guys to help you get out of Barcelona. So well, sweet. Well, there's a lot of cryptic going on. I found in the last few days. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is nice. Okay, cool. How do we fix this? And what is going on? Well, yeah, uh, you keep talking about a curse, but yeah, there's a curse. So just establish that the curse is there, and I mm -hmm. can get rid of it for you. But you're gonna have to do something for me, oh, and you're man. gonna have to come to me. Cool, Jacoby will do it. Okay. What? I'm sure he's what? into anything. No, no, no. no. I mean, it's, it's... I'm into most things, but like, gay, gay, man. What are you down for? All right. All right. There should be somebody with you that you didn't start off with. Is she there? Yeah. You there? We all turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Including Morgan, who's driving. <laughs> <laughs> Rune, are you there? Oh, me. Yeah. Me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The person who brought you there was sent you to get something specific. Did you find it yet? No, no, but we've been really busy, though. Yeah, that's okay. I understand. I appreciate it. You need to way. find the item that they sent you to get. Who's yeah. driving now? Morning. Bonjour, I am driving. Okay. How can I help you? I will give you the instructions, the directions on how to get here, okay? Bon. Just follow my instructions. Also, fair disclosure, Cesare knows what you did and he's sending his people after you, so you kind of have to hurry it up. Who? Hi there, Ricky Dorado, long time listener, first time caller. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeff Pancakes, how, what firstly, can I do for you? Um, <laughs> hi, uh, firstly, um, Cesare can send his goons to Mariana and Siena because they're the ones who sent us. Um, secondly, we are going to Mariana and Sienna because they have this large Ikea bag full of crap that I need to deliver to them. Yep. Um, and thirdly, who are you and why don't we just kick this girl out of the van? I'm Mr. Waffles. This is, we've okay. established this. You're Jeffrey Pancakes. Hey, yeah, we've not established this. You've called yourself Mr. Waffles, which is a nightmare of a ridiculous name. Yes, I, I understand people? that. I... It's... What are you called first? Richard Sim... Like, what... Like... <laughs> You've gone by Mr. Waffles? That's your chosen name? Look, look, that's what she said it to in the system, and I haven't been able to figure out how to... It, it's just... Waffles is fine. We're just gonna go with Mr. Waffles. Okay. I'm... Go so, on. Yes. Uh, let's just say Cesare and I aren't friends, and neither am I friends with Timmy Fingers. But I have a passing acquaintance with... Sienna and Mariana, and if you want to get shit to them, I can send you to someone who can get it to them. Cool. Who? 
Well, uh, this is an old friend of mine. Because the way I see changes it, changes from time to time. Just some of you might know him as the King of Berlin. <laughs> the who? The who of the what now? The what? Helena, like Helena's eyes flick up from where she's been staring at the floor. The King of Berlin. Um, oh, sounds hot. That's, um, that's that's a good thing. Oh, you know them? Do you know this person? I haven't seen them for a long time, but yes, Ooh. I'm surprised he called in. So he he called. Sorry, did did they say that he called in these papers, or that, that somebody else did from him? I just let's just leave it at an old friend called in a favor, and I can get you to the King of Berlin, and they'll and he'll help you out. Huh? The King He's, of Berlin. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So you, you don't owe me anything. This is old debts being paid. Okay. So why do we have to go and fetch a face for that chick to deliver to the scary one? Uh, no, you you have the face. Oh, where? What? Uh, she says you have the face. She she came to me. She brought Cat to me, uh, and I'm gonna take care of Cat. Make sure Cat's taken care of. All you have to do is find the face and bring it to me. And she says you've got it. And also, she says that there's a curse. Uh, and if you can come here to me with the face, I'll help you remove the curse. Okay, where are we headed? What's the GPS here? Well, you can't use the GPS. Just follow my directions, okay? Great! Okay. You're a, you're a delightful stand-up individual. Let's, let's all go on a fun adventure. From Mr. Waffles, yes. From Mr. Fucking Waffles of the Pancake House of New Jersey. Great. I've always preferred Denny's. Yeah, well. Me too. Uh, Denny's parking lots are amazing. Specifically. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> nothing gonna, like it, man. I'm gonna tap into your feeds. Well, I guess they're five feeds. But anyway, just follow the map. It may not seem like the right directions, but you gotta trust me because I'm trying to lead you away from Cesare's people. I mean, I don't trust you at all, but it's a better than our current plan, which is nothing. No, the current plan is we give all this crap back to Sienna and Mariana and then go about our merry lives. Yeah, this seems like the direct route to doing that, though. And honestly, the quicker we can get that done, the better at this rate. Those bitches are uh, <laughs> gonna get their shit and then we can leave. Yeah, fair. All right. <sighs> Oh, man. So, I'm going to send the information from Morgan. Rune, you, need to guys help, you guys need to help Rune find the face. Okay? I, and I'm going to go quiet while I'm doing my computer stuff. So, uh, just help her out and I'll, I'll kick in if I've got any information. Mm-hmm. I'll note that Morgan has not stopped trying to hang up on this person. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> All time. <laughs> That's fine. I hate technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not great. So, face can't be hard to find if you already have it, right? Uh, have you checked your pockets? I checked my pockets. That was just like that safe, was it? I grab the bag, I open the bag, okay. I start pulling out random garbage. <laughs> I pull not, out the... It's not on one of the, uh, the uh, paintings, yeah? Could be on a painting. The Could only thing that has paintings. a face on it is this, and it's a Renaissance mask. It's a Venetian carnival like mask. Venetian, Venetian, yeah, Venetian mask. This. Now. I'm, I'll take anything that looks like a face. You know, options, maybe. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Fair. Okay. The mask <laughs> like itself um, is old, and it's made out of leather, and it has some sort of curls and horn motifs at the top and then the is it nose. animal leather or people leather oh why don't so why don't you make a roll to find out that would be uh, what intelligence we... plus i think academics elena is the one with art history cool intelligence academics yeah all right one, two, three. 
Me too. Academics. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nothing. Straight nothing. up nothing. You, you nothing. Know, leather. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to try with your art history knowledge? I can give it a go. What do you want from me? Intelligence and academics. Okay. And you said to take the art history, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, three successes. Okay. Roll it again. Did you roll it again? Um, mm -mm. Three successes. Okay, well then, yes, yeah, absolutely. No, it is actually uh, leather, it, animal leather. Uh, it's I'll relay that to the group, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> the, it's very nice quality. Um, but, Helen, as you're inspecting it, even though it does appear to be, by all shapes and uh, indications, an antique Venetian carnival mask. It is very old. It does not actually match any of the archetypes of Venetian carnival masks that you know of. And the markings on it are seem to be unique. And you would say, knowing what you know about the history of vampires and what's going on in the past, that these markings seem to be unique, specific to some vampires lore itself instead of actually being related to Venice. Okay. Are you talking about a specific clan or are you talking about a sect or it could be specific to a clan, yes. But you okay. you know that this has nothing to do with actually Venice other than being potentially inspired by the masks of Venetian Carnival. Okay. Um what are the what do the markings look like? Uh there's uh like a, a horn motif at the brow. Mm -hmm. The nose is very long and curved, and there is no mouth. There's also sort of like a, a, a trail of thorns uh, on, along one cheek, and what looks like almost like pock marks, but then as a, a second glance, you realize that they're actually like seeds that are starting to sprout on the other side. Okay. Um, everyone else who is looking, if they are looking, will see Helena turning it over and inspecting it and frowning quite deeply as she does. Um, this is unusual. Um, I'm familiar with some mask making techniques and usually the sort of uh, the construction is meant to be telling a story in its own right. The reason people wear these masks is to how would you put it? Um, help to convey something about the wearer while also disguising the wearer. Uh, if it's performance or identity hiding is sort of the differential there. I'm not sure which it is, but I can tell you that this is definitely not as Venetian as you might assume from looking at it. Oh? Mm. The markings aren't traditional. The material is. It's leather. That's normal. But, well, I haven't seen this seed type thing before. This is interesting. Hmm. Is it the face we wanted? It could be. If it's clan specific as opposed to performance specific, it might be what this person's looking for. Hmm. I mean, is there anything else in the bag that could be it? Could we just, you know, put everything in there that's vaguely like it and give them a goodie bag? Yeah, Diary. any fake <laughs> option. McDonald's order, but make it just like a choose your own adventure, you know? Randomize that shit. I've got two books that it could be in. I have a music box, I guess, which it could be in if you folded it up real tight. Which, <clears throat> um, <laughs> what else? Uh, I've got some dice, some cards, a violin. Um, I got a chess set, some coins, a music box, as I said, a lantern, some goblets, which are broken. Um, a mask, as I've already given you, this sextant, a diary, and a pigeon feather. Any of those? Are my, any of those a face? No. Do I have any idea what the face that I'm looking for looks like? 
Just, nope. Just so I'm just going for. Okay, right. So I'm just gonna go through the objects, trying to find anything that looks like it might Hold have on. a face, conceal a face. Hold on. Were you sent here by a vampire, possibly older than you, with no idea of what you're getting or what you're stealing, but are just told to go and fetch a superfluous item? Um, more or less. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Oh, good, good. That's a, no, I'm not alone. It doesn't no. sound like a fun club, though. It's not great. Yeah, right. membership isn't optional either. So membership <laughs> is mandatory, apparently. Yeah. Have you looked in the paintings? Yeah, the paintings probably. Yeah. There are lots of paintings. There are sketches of everyone in the car, except for Rune, currently. I hold mine up and I'm like, they didn't even get my hair right. What? <laughs> got... I had I had a far higher quaff in this era. Can I make sure that I'm checking like the backs of the paintings? Sure. That nothing's. Sure, you can make uh, a wits an investigation roll to do this. Anyone can do this. Um, which an investigation? You said I assume I can't because I'm driving. You're driving. Yes. It's an <laughs> okay, cool. And Seven okay. Eleven uh, would like to point out a face isn't exactly superfluous. <laughs> okay, so I just roll the two d tens for two wits, and I don't have any investigation. So yes. then, just those two plus two hunger dice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's you would just roll your two hunger dice, so. Okay, anything over a six is a success, and under is a fail? Yes. Okay, so one success and one fail. Okay. Did you get any tens or ones? Nope. All right, then uh, you find several paintings that have faces in them. Uh, there's a rather fabulous Renaissance-era painting of an absolutely gorgeous but vacant-looking man who's standing there very proudly. Ben! It's Ben! Ben! We love Ben! Ben! You find a collection of sketches of everyone in the car, except for you. Um, and we'll say that Helena would have grabbed all of the sketches that were available in there. You find several sketches of several other people uh, in there as well, including a sketch of good old Johnny. Johnny's in there. Your your sire. Yep. 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 That's the Johnny. You see, yeah, he's there. You also find uh, as you're digging through the sketches, and anyone else can notice, you see the a sketch of the woman from the club that you went to the first night, uh, the second night. Uh, the one who Chiffon tripped and kicked on the stairs. You find a sketch of Chiffon. You find a sketch of Roxanne and one of Timmy Dingers. And pretty much every NPC and character and guest you have seen has a, a sketch here, with the notable exception that there are no sketches of Mariana or Sienna. You're just supposed to bring all of this stuff back to them. They yeah. weren't specific. Doesn't make a whole lick of sense, does it, darling? That's not handy. No. Okay, no. and you, I, I can give back anything that isn't the face, but... Don't much care. They told nope. us to steal it, not to give it back. Also, oh. they didn't specify what they actually wanted from the safe. So as far as I'm concerned, go wholesale on this ass and just take what you want and yeah. be on your merry way. Everything's oh. a dollar. Everything's a dollar. Perfect. It's two for one. I'm just going to get anything with faces. Do it. Well, could actually, be a face. hang on a second. We do have Hel uh, Helena. Do you want to price up things? Well, the sketches of us. I can't imagine a world oh, the, too sorry, much. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Actually, can I no, have nothing a bit of glitter paint won't fix, I'm sure, Jack. No, you're not wrong. I'm going to stab the one of Sienna. And <laughs> yeah, Mariana, a few times. Um, just a bunch. Um, but I'm not going <laughs> to... I'll bite it. Uh, yeah, no, go wholesale. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Okay, they're saying I'm quiet. Is that better? Can you hear me now, audience? Audience, can, can you hear me now? Audience, are you hearing me? I hope this is loud enough. 
I turned my volume all the way up so that, okay, great, thank you. I turned my volume all the way up so you guys could hear me this time. But unfortunately, it's my microphone, so if I ever take my headset off, then <laughs> it gets quiet again. So I apologize for that, but thanks. All right. Uh, Morgan, you are driving the car, right? Okay. What did you do with that bomb? It's in my bag. Mm, okay. Did you set off any sort of like alert or ticker? Maybe it's like the little clock of do, 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 or a beep, 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 beep. I intentionally disabled it as soon as I realized I didn't need it. Okay. But did you set anything, any of that off? Like, is there like some sort of alert that would let you know that the bomb is armed and ready to go? Well, there would be like a little blinky light or something. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a wits and awareness check from everyone except for Morgan, who's driving the car. <laughs> Wits and what did you want, sorry, Lee? Awareness. Okay. Mm. Right, one, one, two, three, and awareness. Awareness, yes. Would my all specs help me with this Your at all? Your would help you with this, yes. Okay, I will pop up heightened sensors in that case. Okay. Oh, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I rolled five dice and got five successes, so right. not all bad. Nice. Yeah, That's man. Garris's bag of dice is really good for him tonight. Three yeah. successes on me good as well. Job. Good job. Uh, okay. Go ahead and treat them as if they were beastly criticals. So, you've won, but your beast is the one that won in your 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 site so you as uh who all of you if you succeeded okay you have succeeded as, as if you got a critical on your hunger dice okay okay does yeah. that mean we're all under compulsion then yeah okay <laughs> so oh and um, we didn't cover compulsion for you Let's go ahead and look up the compulsion, the venture compulsion for uh, rune. Unless, did you roll your, your successes? Did you roll your dice? Yep. Um, one success and one failure. One success and one failure. Okay. <clears throat> no ones, no tens. So, what is the venture compulsion? It's in here somewhere. Does anyone know off the top of their head? There it is. I'm uh, pretty sure it's uh, dominance. Dominance, over. yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that. But I would need to Google it. It's arrogance is what it is. Ah. The need to rule rules rears its head in the vampire. You will stop at nothing to assume command of the situation. So, yeah. That's where you're at now, uh, Laura. With you is she's, She is the leader. She is the princess. You're going to do whatever she says. Okay. Okay. But anyway, now, all those of you who did, in fact, succeed, notice that there is a small blinky light going off in Morgan's bag. So what's the nearest thing around me that could be described as depraved art? So anything that's particularly brutal or... <laughs> that anus that we, <laughs> that we graffitied. I mean, that's already my work, though, isn't it? You make a fair point. I was going to say Fi's mouse head if she's got a spare one. I think he just turns to Ricky yeah. and just grabs him by the side of the face. It's like, I fucking hate this. Yeah. And I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> just plant a big old kiss on his forehead. <laughs> cool. I have an idea for you. If you may, I have an idea. If that's cool. How about go for it. we play a game of blind driver? Go put your, go grab hold of um, Fi's eyes and don't let go. Okay. <laughs> Not Fi. Sorry. Morgan's eyes. Great. Driver. <laughs> he's gonna run, he's going to make a beeline for Morgan and just go, hey baby, what's good? Joink <laughs> just Blinder. Oh, oh that's not good. That's not good no. at all. No, Morgan, Morgan, go ahead. Quick, left, there's a deer. Quick, pull <laughs> left, there's a deer. Quick. Morgan, quick. <laughs> Morgan, go ahead and roll a drive check. Yay! Helena, are you doing anything? Um No. No. Nope. Nothing. I'm 
<laughs> three successes, including a critical success. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. You're able to uh, retain control of the um, the the van, but now you are currently under your compulsion for Bruja, which is if I need to look it up because I have it right here. Oh, I think that's a rage thing, right? It's rebellion. <laughs> you have to take a stand against whoever you see as the status quo in this situation. Cool. Uh, your, so you're rebelling, and uh, so Jacoby, you put your hands over my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I am the one telling you what to do as well. I told you to drive left. Yeah, true. I'm... Actually, yeah, I feel it's yeah Jack and Ricky working in tandem to be the worst as so, per their norm. I'm trying to crash the van. Slam down on the brakes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, none yes. of us are wearing seatbelts. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and make a deck of athletics check if you are not currently in a box or wearing your seatbelt. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. All right. So that's one, two, three, four. We had a five, minus two penalty six. until we finished our uh, composition. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Sweet one dice. Ah, oh, failed. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, uh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh. oh, beans. <laughs> Two successes. All right, uh, Jack, you're able to keep your feet, but you're still under compulsion. Yeah, Ricky, you yeah. fall and you conk your head. It hurts. It sucks. This is not fun. I immediately go and help Ricky up. Okay, Rune, what are you up to? Damn it! I imagined I was trying to bargain with um, Helena for any of the items that have faces on them. Okay. Are you oh, going no, to everything faces? Ruthless. <laughs> Are you going to contest this? Any any particular items? You're just looking at literally any of them. Any of them with faces, or they any could of be them with faces. A face. Right. A um, face. Helena's going to help her look through them. Okay. She's like, she's like, sure, I could humor this. This makes as much sense as anything else that's happening tonight. Why not? <laughs> she's just going to leaf through like, all the could items. Could this fit on someone's face? Do you think this would do this go on someone's face? Okay. Uh, all right. So while you guys are doing that, and Bye, you're in a box. Alright, so you don't notice at all that... No. Nope. No, okay, I'm sorry. That's it... fine, I'm probably still hearing people pattering away at the edge of the box trying to get in, and I'm just like, eh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for what we're going to do to your house. Alright, uh, Jack and Ricky, are you guys going to do anything about the blinking light that you saw in Morgan's bag? Oh, I'm good. Okay. If it explodes, then it's Morgan's fault. Jack? And then Morgan gets sustained, and then I get to not be in compulsion anymore. Jack, <laughs> are you doing anything about it? I want to eat something yeah. and paint its blood over a wall. Okay. But are you doing anything about that? No, I'm just really fucking angry. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm <Morgan>? absolutely fuming. <laughs> Morgan, uh, you've stopped the vehicle. What are you going to do? I'm going to unbuckle my seatbelt. All right. I'm going to stand up. With awareness, as you stand up and turn around. Cool. Awareness. Uh, two successes. Okay. You go ahead and notice the uh, blinking light from coming from your back. Let it happen, Morgan. It's fine. Compulsion, Morgan. We'll be free. <laughs> we'll be free, Morgan. <laughs> Let it happen. Come fight us, Morgan. I'm going to pick up my bag. Okay. <clears throat> and we're slowly going to be start starting to walk towards Rickaby and Rickaby. Rickaby. <laughs> that's what it is. That's it's Rickaby. Name. That's I'm the ship name. That's the ship name. <laughs> I'm walking Rickaby. towards Rickaby. That's how I will refer to them now. Brilliant. I love this. And I'm very slowly just going to pull out my bomb. Yes. It is a a active bomb. It is going to blow up very soon. It's going to happen gonna happen Ooh. that's Let cute happen. take that shit elsewhere you guys also everyone else notices except for fight notices that the bomb is there and active and going on you know what you should do fight you know what you, morgan sorry you know what we should do morgan you should throw it at some dude's house go throw it at some dude's house let them deal with it we've had to deal with other people's bullshit all night maybe their house explodes who knows think of the boom Think of the boom, Morgan. Think of the boom. Morgan has this very, like, stony face, and their eyebrow just sort of cricks when you start giving them orders. 
You know what? <laughs> you know, you know. Ah, here's the thing, though. Let's. Okay, okay, okay. Bruja, get it? I understand. However, think of it this way: everyone else in the world is telling you to blow, to not blow up shit. I'm the one telling you to blow up shit. I'm and not the status quo. Slowly walking towards you. <laughs> Okay, I turned into a big fucking snake. <laughs> you want to do yeah. this? Yeah, I've had <laughs> just about enough. Of man sized boa constrictor, and I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, I've had just about enough of this fucking bullshit. And uh, Jacoby's gonna use a uh, dread gaze, so he's going to wheel around to Morgan and bear his fangs at her. And uh, Morgan, can you please make me some rolls, my love? <laughs> what do I do for that? Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, could you please roll me your composure and resolve? And it's versus yeah. my charisma and presence, and it's to protect Ricky. Because resolve. essentially he's under compulsion. He's protecting the source of his compulsion. And at the minute, that's Ricky. Uh, okay, um, cool. So that's a critical fail on a hunger die, and then two successes, including a crit success. Okay, okay. and I've got one, two, three, four, charisma plus, plus presence. Yes, so I've got nine dice. One, two, Desperately three, trying to find three, the stats of a giant snake. Four, <laughs> okay, one, two. How many did you get, Morgan? Uh, two, three. I think I got two. Okay, I got three. So, okay. uh, but give me a sec. Um, vampires are unable to act other than in their own defense for a turn unless they spend a willpower to negate it. Uh, ba, 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 yeah. Um, basically, I'm really fucking scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, vampires either submit like whip dogs or flee in terror. Is the is Damn the flavor <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you you just want to defend yourself against Jack at this moment. Mm. Where's the mace? <laughs> has you want the mace. Me with mace? <laughs> I've got it, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're not going to come any closer. Oh. Little man. Do not need to come any closer. Oh, hot. <laughs> that is pretty hot, <laughs> actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to make some depraved <laughs> fucking artwork. Oh, man. I'm I don't like where this is going. Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was good for you too, Morgan, but if it's that, if that's the case, I'm not stepping on your yum. <sighs> well, if I can't come any closer and I look at the bomb. Oh, no. <laughs> where's the trigger? I don't know. Where's the trigger, Morgan? <laughs> I don't know, but they've just pressed it. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blow up the van. <laughs> ch -ch 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 Jerry bar. <laughs> Are you guys having this argument in the van? They are yeah, having this argument in the van. Uh, uh, yeah. And just as a fair warning, Mr. Waffles has come out through the speakers of the van and let everyone know to get the fuck out of the van and bring the stuff with them. We're under well, compulsions. We don't give a fuck right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm I'm out of Finally, we can die. <laughs> All right. Well, Morgan has clicked the bomb to go off, so good luck. Uh, the bomb does, in fact, go off. Boom. Cool. I would like everyone to make a dexterity plus athletics check, even if you are in a box. Will power. Will power. So Dex and Athletics, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two successes. Wait. Two successes. That's, Minus that's two because of compulsion. Four successes, including oh, a shit. crit. If I've got minus two because of compulsion, then I've got no successes, sorry. Oh, okay. You're in the oh. ground, you don't have a compulsion. Though. Yeah, but I'm being... I, one of my flaws is currently being okay. massively played. Yeah, you know? okay. I can't, I'm completely useless. And in the so. nine. All right, okay. So, did anyone fail? Got a three. Uh, 
Yep. Fail. Okay. Fine. Fail. Okay. Fine. You're in the box, uh, and all of a sudden you feel the box go <laughs> rocketing off through the street. And you Ooh. like are are airborne now. You're gone, right? I don't like this feeling. <laughs> no, but uh, as you go airborne, the sensation of being completely surrounded fades. It's gone. Nobody's with you. You're alone Yay. in the box. Your compulsion fades. Shaman. You're Marketing. great, but also mm-hmm. you are airborne. <laughs> so uh, you're going to just go off down the road for a bit, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's go to Helena and Rune. Are you doing anything to hold on to the items that you have? Uh, well, sh- we would have been holding them at the time, weren't we? Because we were examining them between us. So yes. I imagine Helena will have had hold of a few paintings. I don't know what um, Rune would have in her hands at that time. We'll but... say that Helena has the paintings and Rune, you have the bag of items. No. Okay, great. So you guys are basically rocked by this explosion, right? Uh, and because I'm going to be nice here and I need you guys for the next session, I'm going to say it doesn't actually kill you. <laughs> Uh, you guys go for a tumble, um, but as soon as you clear the radius of the van, your compulsions drop. You are able to act as normal. You you feel this great sense of relief lift off of you um, as you roll down the foothills carrying your Ikea bag and your uh, stack of paintings, I guess. You've got potents and La Sombra arms, so you can hold all of the paintings. <laughs> Helena. Which leaves Morgan, Ricky, and Jack. All right, let's get into your actual successes. Let's start with Morgan. What? How many successes was it you got? I think you're muted, Holly. I was. Uh, so I had four, including a critical success. Woo! Okay. You, in this fantastic moment, you're holding, you're holding your bomb, right? And you, you click it. But at the same time, you manage to just like gently flick it out <laughs> so that it like when it, it, it goes off, it explodes midair between you and Ricky and Jack. And you go flying backwards through the windscreen and tumble several meters across the pavement. But you hit a critical success. So you manage to land in the superhero pose. So you're like in the pavement on the on the highway posed and ready to go you got wisps of smoke rising up off of you and you got the your your hair is all blown back but you are actually mostly intact it hurts like a son of a bitch because you you blew stuff up but morgan would sort of look down and go oh i like that suit yeah your suit's a little tattered but you're okay Mm. (laughs) yes this is one of those non-lethal bombs uh but we're, we're, we're getting this because we need to, to have them for the next session. Jack and Ricky. So let's go with Ricky first. Giant snake, Ricky. Ten and a nine. Ten and a nine. Okay, great. You are blown out through the back of the band, giant snake person, and you go for a tumble along the pavement. It really freaking hurts mm. uh, as you tumble. Um, and, but you are still also a giant snake and Jack, we'll go ahead and say, uh, how many did you get? Three. Okay. You get blown out of the side of the van. Cool. Okay. You tumble. It hurts. We're going to go ahead and say, just as a very generous uh, way of saying, the three of you take three fire damage, three aggravated, whatever it's called in the system, levels of damage yep. from from getting hurt the three ag three ag yeah nice it hurts it hurts but you are able to actually survive the the tumble and as soon as you're out of the van the radius of the van your compulsions drop (laughs) (sighs) oh man well like i said earlier guys is that good for you (laughs) but uh, unfortunately your van is Gone. So I'm gonna build another one. Uh, oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I have not felt like that. Seventy-five years counting. All right, and just sort of drag himself over to Ricky and be like, "You good, man?" I just start turning back into a human. Okay, I'm good. Cool. I just like hold his wrist out to you and be like, "You need it, or are you good?" No, we're good. Cool. No, I'm sorry. 
The Rue and Helena and you are both taking two damage. Phi, when you land, your box splinters and you take one aggravated oh. damage. <laughs> but also, you, you, you come up out of your splintered box to see everything is destroyed. Yeah, they blew like... up your house. They, they, they've blown up my house. <sighs> your, your crows are gone too. Ah, it just smells like bud. It like smells... roast bud. Yeah, that it smells me. like roast chicken now for some reason. It's really weird. So I had my spray paints and my my folder full of stuff, including the thing we got out of the safe in like my coat. Yeah. Are those still there? Yeah, you still have them. Okay, cool. In that case, uh, Jacoby is going to try and heal some of this ag damage. I'm good. I'm just going to lay here for a bit. Uh, Morgan is going <laughs> to stand up and look at themselves and look at the van and go, what the fuck kind of shit did Sienna give me? What was that? Ooh, that was a fail. <laughs> oh, well, Jack, you don't feel any better. It's I'm a... just oh. going to start walking back towards my van and see if I can salvage any of the anything. Feel just really sorry, really sorry so time. just so I know, Lee, that the attempt to knit the wound doesn't work. Well, you failed, right? Uh, I failed the rouse check. Oh, okay, heal. no, then, yeah, you're fine. Also, I've hit hunger four. So as Jack stands up, you just watch as like his forehead and um, palms split into like disgusting, ragged, uh, cross-shaped wounds, and he just starts spilling vitae, <laughs> and he just stands up and is like, "Ah, oh, this may as well happen." And uh, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, it it mm, it's not been Stick your night. Up. Nope. Welcome to the club, Rune. Stick <laughs> Let's say lying on the tarmac. I don't think I want to join. No, it's uh, trust bad, baby. Me, I didn't want to join them either. No one wants None to. of us no, want to join fun. this None club. None of us wanted to be here. You can nope. check out anytime you like, but you will never leave. Fire <laughs> 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 is literally just scrabbling through the bits of van to pick up any uh, video components she can, uh, any the, leftover glow sticks, anything that's just left. The van is, <laughs> is gone. Everything else that was part of your home is unfortunately... Gone. Like every single part of it yeah, is blown to part. literal atoms. Rune, you okay. get this overwhelming sensation that this is the end. I mean, to just being here, nobody's going to know you. Nobody's going to want to have you around ever again for the rest of eternity because you're hanging out with these losers. <laughs> <laughs> they did this to you. How dare they? And it just, every minute, you can feel the cultural awareness of you just draining away just by being in their presence. Ouch. Yeah. I just, I just need to get my stuff and go. I, this is not my club. I am not part of this club. I am here for a face, and then I'm going. Okay. So, can I start gathering together all the face stuff? You can gather together all the face stuff, yeah. And in face have... stuff. You still have the IKEA bag full of stuff. The glass items are unfortunately quite smashed and destroyed at this point. They weren't in good nick. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah. Oh, I so do we still have the IKEA bag? Where's where was that? Uh Runa has it. He got rocketed out the fucking door, I think. <laughs> okay. It's very strong, hard wearing. Oh, okay. Everything in it is a mush, I think. No, like, mo there's most of the stuff that's still in there is still intact. It's just the no, glasses. Violet, just... <laughs> violet is fine. It was in a case. It's not like they've, they've got this freestanding violin. Okay. Loose violin rattling around in the back of a man. <laughs> hey, question. Does anyone have Mariana or Sienna's number? Chiffon did, but uh, they fucked off. Cool. Uh, okay. I've not ever been in the habit of keeping numbers for obvious reasons. Oh. Anyone. 
Apparently, because she texted me. So she I have texted it, I you? Mm. Okay, oh, here's shit. what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what we do. Sorry, not giving you orders. This is a suggestion. No, it's <laughs> cool. I actually feel a lot better now. Okay. Something yeah, about that some band blowing up. I'm still yeah. I think the bomb back. just cleared still our minds. You know? yeah, it, exactly. Okay, here's Probably what we do. still wearing her cat head. We throw that shit in the back of the van. We take a photo of it, send it to Sienna and Marianne, say, pick up your own bullshit, and I say we just hightail it somewhere else. Mm. Anyone with me? I'll take yeah. a picture of the blown up van. Nice. I Bye. send it to Sienna. Bye. I snap the phone and I start walking down the road. Yeah. Uh, would, we, would we have heard the directions to the place that we were supposed to be going, like over the speaker? So we all kind of know where we're supposed to be. We all kind of know where we're supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. You could, but you also don't have the directions anymore or the voice of Mr. Waffles to help you out. I want to go and comfort Fi because I feel bad that her house has exploded and she felt real bad about it. Also, I'm blood bonded as fuck. Yep. Um, <laughs> so I go over and I'm like put my hand on I just sort of hover it a second and just go, can I touch you? <laughs> I've been touched enough today. Okay. That sounded worse than I meant it. No, no, that's uh, fine. I understand. Okay. Because I'm really, really sorry that this has happened. Let's go get revenge. I just want a new van. We can do that. We can get you okay. re- we can get you revenge. I mean a van. Easy. I mean, hey, is there anything in the did we get anything in the bag I can sell? I Let me get some can. money for the van. <laughs> this has been a night. <laughs> this has been above my pay grade. Revenge. I like that, yes. Vengeance. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm here for vengeance. Okay. okay. But, like, Let's go yeah, ahead. I mean, did we get anything actually that we can salvage that we can like sell? Because I'd still, I don't feel comfortable out here. Like don't she still has wrong. the cat head on. She, yeah. She's just talking underneath the cat head. Okay. Uh, like, it's an awareness, know. everyone. Also, Jacoby's checking his phone. <laughs> Throughout all of them. It's kind of cracked. It's you're gonna need a new phone. That's all good. Two successes. Two successes. I need to roll because I need to take three dice off. Oh, four hunger now. <laughs> three successes. Okay. I failed everything. I two crits. Who got Ooh, two nice. crits? Okay. Yes. Um. Your hunger goes up by one. We're going to treat one of them as the best you'll get. Four successes. Four successes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Everyone uh, notices that there's a food truck coming your way. Oh, gee. On the other way. Uh, from the opposite direction. The way, the way you're headed, they're coming towards you. Uh, the food truck is, we'll say, it's a cheerful teal color. And it is covered on the outside with waffles. And on top of it is a giant waffle that's sort of bobbing back and forth on a swing. Hey, Morgan, you got another bomb? Please say you do. I will note that Morgan did send that text, snap their phone, and then yeah. start walking. I took that into account, yes. I turned around and you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's like halfway Morgan, down the road. Morgan, Morgan actually sees the truck first. All right. Mm. Morgan steps to the side and keeps walking. And then the truck, as it approaches Morgan, sort of slows down. And you can see there's a guy driving the truck. And he's just kind of like an ice cream man, except he's got a waffle on his head, like a big waffle mask. Apparently Doesn't we're now stop. the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. The Avengers. Yeah, I'm down for it. All right. Let's check the Avengers. Avengers. Right. Van was the MP- MVP of this entire campaign. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the 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 food truck, the waffle truck, honks a couple times. Morgan does not stop. He <laughs> keeps right. walking. Does anyone approach the van? I'll go with my with my bag. All right. Of faces. Your your bag of faces. You have the bag yeah, of faces. Yeah, your face and... bag. Yeah. 
Helena kind of looks between like Morgan walking away, the van approaching, and Rune with the bag of stuff, and kind of like gives mm. a real laboured sigh and goes <laughs> after Rune. <Right. laughs> I get it. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel it. <laughs> the, the sort of side window where you would order food rolls up on the side of the van. And the same woman who was there, who dropped you off earlier, Boone, is there, and she still has no face, and she just kind of leans forward. Did you get my face? I certainly hope so! I want to just, like, shove the bag through the window. Anything that isn't your face, by the way, could I take that back? I just want my face. And she starts digging through the bag of stuff. She pulls out the mask and then ties it on her face and she didn't have eyes before but when she puts the mask on you can now see that there are painted eyelids that sort of drop down or eyes on the mask that drop down to cover that the fact that she has no eyes and she manages to make the mask blink a few times as she looks around and she goes that's much better and then there's a second where the entire back of the food truck is full of shadows, and then she's gone. Is there now an empty truck? There, no. Did there's... she leave the bag of stuff behind? <laughs> she did. Oh, good. Helena immediately. <laughs> All of their faces are returned to content. you. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, everything else that's in the bag is, is still there. Uh, Mr. Waffles, or the waffle mascot man, is still in the front of the van. So you're the waffle dude. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, this is like a summer gig for me. I'm just supposed to drive the truck around and sell waffles. You're the only uh, one on the truck. Oh, what? You're the only one on the truck. I think so. <laughs> Do you want to get out the truck? I I mean, I get paid either way, so yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can I, can I tell if he's mortal? You can roll a, a like a medicine check or an awareness check to see if he's mortal. We're a giant okay. waffle head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so four, six, four hunger <laughs> and <laughs> killer. Thank God the compulsion is gone. Um, all right, so one, two, three, uh, four successes. Okay, okay. Yes, he is in yeah. fact mortal. He's human. He's Ooh, just some Jeff. kid. Jack is gonna go. Jack is going to walk with intent, and Ricky knows this look. The look in his eyes is just, "I'm gonna fucking eat this." Oh, I keep paying. No, no, I keep paying. A, I'm going to murder this man with yeah, you. Makes a beeline for the like the side of the door where he sat, uh -huh. wrenches it open, grabs him by the scruff, and drags him out. All right, by the scruff of his neck. All right, cool. Uh, uh, you, you are also, you're also gonna help eat the poor waffle guy. I would like to eat the waffle man. Right. Before he does that, though, is I would there like, also a, like to eat the waffle man? Is there like a cliff or anything? <laughs> yeah, you're in the, the foothills of the Pyrenees. Cool. So I literally, with my hand on the front of his shirt, I slam him up against the cliff, and I say, "So, kiddo, are you ready to learn what scary really feels like?" And then I fucking eat him. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> That scene in Snakes on a Plane, you know, all of them, where a snake attacks you. That. Yeah. <laughs> Fi, are you also going to try and eat the Waffle Man? No, if they're both eating the Waffle no, Man, no, there's come too join. many no, people. No, no. no, there's too many people eating the Waffle Man. Like, I'm just going to go in the Waffle Van okay, and just start van. looking around for, like, bugs and cameras <laughs> that I don't want in there. So I'm going to activate Ghost in the Machine. All right. So I can't be seen by cameras, and I'm just gonna start sneaking around and be like, right, that unhooked, that unhooked, that. Just to start getting rid of anything that could record me in any way. All right. Go ahead. Technology. What would you like me to roll? Do you have a technology, technology check? Intelligence technology. <laughs> Cinnaban. I like that. Yes, it's the Cinnaban. <laughs> okay. I have. And there's like syrup and pennies. One, two, three. Four successes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are able to dismantle the the cameras and stuff. Um, you get in the van. You can see that the GPS is back up, and it's got a return route 
to the location that you were supposed to go to. When I'm started. going to hand any tapes I found, anything that I found that recorded, all of the cameras. I'm going to put them in Helena's hands and be like, here, hold this. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you want me to do with this exactly? Nothing. You're just, you're, you're doing great. Okay. Um, she kind of like just gingerly <laughs> like, ah. Uh, and... As I leave the La Sombra with all of the equipment knowing it's now completely fried. <laughs> I mean, you could drop it anytime. I just don't need it anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, and she's sort of just like, just. <laughs> I'm going to happily get in the van and start like just doing all my comfort things, uh, finding my way to make it my own and just being like, yeah. It's like a quick. Waffles. It's like a quick way of destroying a hard drive. <laughs> yeah. Hand, <laughs> hand it to a La Sombra. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if I, if I go are, you, are, you, are you literally hermit crabbing this yeah. van? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have hermit crabbed into this van. This is my new van. She's hermit crabbed into the waffle van. Getting the good butt like, imprint on the seat. The oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Work, work in that. Work in the okay, deck. Okay. Readjusting the seat and the up, down, and the steering wheel. Everything's perfect now. This is my new. This is my new haven. This new is where haven. I live now. This is a waffle themed food truck. Yes. I mean, I will get rid of the waffle part later, but for now, it works. It's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. This is all I have. <laughs> to be fair, though, if anyone's got the prey exclusion of hipsters, they're going to be on this thing like a fucking like. <laughs> for sure, for sure, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, just to sorry. Go like, no, go ahead. Ask. Uh, just to clarify, the bag full of guff that I got out of the safe. Where is that currently? I have it. You have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I remember us saying we were going to put it in the back of the van, take a photo, and then leave. But I assume you grabbed it and took it anyway. Yeah, as as we were when okay. um when That's Rune fine. and I were looking through all the items, Rune had hold of the bag and I was examining the painting. So when we launched out of said van, <laughs> we were holding everything. Yeah, that's valid. Um, in this case, then we murder a man, throw him down a hill. Now nah, I'm gonna drag him back to the wreckage of the other van, and just chuck him in there. Okay. Yeah. So I do that <laughs> with Ricky's help and just make it look real gross. Like he's just like got shit jutting out where it shouldn't be. Okay. Just take um, a big bit of glass real right gross. in the neck so it looks like oh, you're yeah. going to that way. Perfect. In both hands. Hell yeah. Straight through. Uh, uh -huh. You have the Ikea bag uh, of yep. crap. Do you check the contents? Yes. Okay, go ahead and make a wits and uh, weirdness roll. Okay. Um. Uh, that is a five success critical. Amazing. You find that something else is missing from the bag. What's missing? You have lost the leaden coin. It's no longer in the bag. Instead, there is a small note. Mm -hmm. It's just handwritten in Italian. Does anyone have Italian or knowledge of Italian or any sort of romance-based language? Don't think any of us have. Translate. We speak Spanish. <laughs> She'll yeah. um, hold up the note and and Jack. Yo, what? The uh, thing, the light box you have that I don't like. Can you use that to check what this says? And she's gonna like sort of hold the note out, but keep her distance as much as possible. <laughs> Yeah, sure thing, Grandma. And he like walks over as his like the the stigmata is slowly healing up, so he looks a bit less like a fucking walking nightmare. Uh -huh. Um, he just walks up and goes, "All right, Kobe," <laughs> and swipes it out of her hand, <laughs> and then walks another two feet away and is gonna like Google image search what this says. All right, uh, it says very neatly. Uh, my sister was always too good for you. And what is this from? Lee? It's on oh. the note. It's on a note. It's just okay, so, so where, where, where was this found, sorry, specifically? It was found in the Ikea bag with all the stuff. It, okay. So you have lost the super cursed leaden coin, and you have gained instead a note that says, my sister was always too good for you. Okay, so... um. Who here has fucked somebody's sister and um, wasn't very good at it? Do you My have money any would idea be on how... you. I, I mean. I didn't say that. Sorry, Jack. Just uh, back to the how, long 
the more you speak, the more I love you. I'm just saying that was beautiful. Never change. <laughs> but seriously, seriously, fess the fuck up because whoever did. Uh, I don't know <laughs> any idea is. how little that narrows this down. I mean, obviously. But <laughs> so- it wasn't me. I didn't fuck anyone, sister. I believe that. I believe I that. Fu- I probably shouldn't say that out loud. I mean, I have, uh, but continue. I haven't had any issues. Move on. I had not fucked anyone's sister. <laughs> My sister was always too good for you. First of all, whose sister is too good for anything? Second of all, you should always have a healthy healthy rivalry going on there. That's just how, how siblings work. Like... Also, who leaves a note and doesn't punch? Also, them? who leaves a note and doesn't who just punch the dude? What is going on? I'm well, so confused. Man. The coin that was in the safe that we took with us is gone, and we've got that note instead. So, what is else the oh. coin connected to it? Oh, Jack, uh, the sensation you felt earlier of your heart and brain being pressed together and switched, gone. Huh, well, that's nice. I, I'm no longer having an aneurysm. Kooby, people. Hell yeah. You you were having an aneurysm? <laughs> yeah, I was feeling Wait. like my entire heart was being ripped Wait. out of my chest. Dude. I've stated this Dude. multiple times. I don't even think we can have aneurysms. Can we have no. aneurysms? I mean, I also thought that I was kind of past that stage in my own life, but apparently, apparently, this fucking situation is full of firsts. Technically, well, what, what else is in the bag? Oh. Also, yeah, you're feeling that no one will ever love you or know you again. It's fading. It's gone. Okay. So everyone feels back to normal again, basically. Oh. So, yeah. The curse is lifted. So what else? What else is in the bag? You know, I mean, if I lost my entire like house and my computer and all my DJ equipment, except this hat, which I take off because I'm now inside a van. <laughs> At least like, you still have your stunning personality. Dude. You've met Fine, me, right? We'll get you a new van. We'll get you a new van. <laughs> it's we'll right. I have this stuff. I have this one for now. I mean I don't like the waffle, but what else have we got in the bag? If we if I've done all of this, I want to know what it was for. Uh some fucking brick a brac bullshit is what it was for. I'm gonna start like going through the bag just to see. <laughs> What we uh, actually, no. what I lost my house for. The remaining <laughs> item uh... that you have is a Stradivarius violin. The case is rather scuffed, but the violin itself is intact. You have a first edition book, printed book of mathematical theorems from an Italian printing press in the Renaissance. An old deck of playing cards and a hand carved set of dice made out of bone. By the way, if you would like to buy some dice, you can buy some from our special guest star, Dark Moon Dice. She does amazing dice. Yeah. yeah. But not these ones, because she's made out of ones. Her dice are made No out bones. Out of no bones. Nope. An yep. antique marble chess set where the white pieces are skeletons and the black pieces are ghosts. An antique music box with several cylinders. A old brass sextant. Those are all the items you have left. And all of the art. The art's the important thing. Yeah. So we don't have any of the diaries. <laughs> oh, no, you do have the diaries. You do have the one diary oh, okay. with the pigeon feather in it. Okay. Uh, I will pick up the two books, the diary and the mathematics book, um, briefly flick through the mathematics book and then toss it over my shoulder because I've read it before. Um, <laughs> and then I'll go for the pigeon feather book yeah. and see what's in there. Uh, you, you'll find it out. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's... The last diary, basically. The last few years or months. So it's all his thoughts and, and ideas and everything that he didn't actually get a chance to implement. Fi doesn't feel so bad about losing her van now. Yes. Yeah. She just kind of hugs it. <laughs> Maybe smells the feather slightly. It's, 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 I, I'm going to take this, guys. Uh, nobody has any big deals. Uh, you guys can just split the rest. I'm not really fussed. Yeah, you do what you want. Do what you want, to be honest. She's just going to go plop herself in the corner of a van um, and just start flicking through it. Do I, um, do I recognize the handwriting at all on this note that we found in the bag? Uh, it's an awareness. Okay. 
And this time without Hunger 4. How much hunger did I slake from the poor mortal who he dragged kicking and screaming out of a van? I mean, you guys, like, <laughs> murdered murdered him. Yeah, yeah he's dead, dead. Movie. Yeah, that, that drops you down pretty far. Great. Okay. I believe you're down to zero if we kill a person. Yeah, you're down oh, to, yeah. Yeah, to zero. You killed right, well, him, so... Yeah. My main thing was that if it was... I wasn't sure because obviously both of us were eating him, oh, so yeah. I wasn't sure how far that would extend. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, that is a that is a sexy, sexy roll. All right. Uh, five successes. Woo! Uh, five successes. It does not look like any of the handwriting you've seen so far. Unfortunately, okay. uh, but you can tell it was handwritten. Um, I'll tell you this: from what you can see of the note and what you understand uh, about human behavior and how things happen, this note was written by someone with no eyes who cannot see, and it was probably handwritten by some sort of muscle memory. So they, it, it's something that they had. They have had practice writing well blind before. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, Ricky Dorada turned into a giant sea. <laughs> Sorry about that, everything froze a little. That's okay. <laughs> uh, there's this suggestion that you should blow up the note. Don't blow tempt me, Matt. It's so tempting. <laughs> no. So tempting. <clears throat> <sighs> Incoming Temptation call. to just use me as a napkin. Incoming call. Incoming call from Mr. Waffle. Oh, man. Where is that coming from? It's coming from inside the van. I hate this. So much. I go and hang up. Right, <laughs> the call connects out. anyway. <laughs> I don't even know why he bothers putting a hang-up button if it just connects anyway. Amazon customer service, we deliver two months late, and no, you don't get a refund. Yeah, I, I got you. Uh, uh, Jackie Croissant. Uh, it's late, I don't... I'm... A croissant? A croissant? Yep. A croissant? A croissant. I don't know, he's more of a brioche, really. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Definitely more of a brioche. Jackie French tip. All right. Jack a brioche. Jack Brioche. I like there we it. go. Jack Brioche. Jack Brioche. I'm putting Brioche. that on my IMDb. There you go. The sun's what coming up. What the fuck up. do you want, Waffle Man? The sun is coming up. Follow the GPS to my place. I'll get you to the King of Berlin. That's the last thing I gotta do. And then you don't have to deal with me and my bread-related obsession. Oh my god, please just let me talk to the King of Berlin. I don't know who they are, but I want to meet them so bad. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. I'm so excited! Just follow the instructions. And then I'll make sure you meet the King of Berlin. Great! I'm gonna Wait. meet Helena's best friend. Best night ever. I'm, I don't really care about meeting the King of Berlin. What are you gonna pay me? Uh, I'll refit the van for your purposes. Okay. Alright. Alright, okay. Also, you gotta pick up Morgan. Morgan. Wait! Yeah, you're gonna have to pick up Morgan. Where's Mo Where's Morgan? Morgan? Morgan's like half a mile yeah, down, the down the road. Yeah, she's walking down the thing. Yeah. Morgan's been walking for a very long time. I mean, if Morgan doesn't want to come, can't yeah. we just? Because if you don't pick up Morgan, Morgan's gonna meet the sunset, sunrise. So. Um... Well, we'll like pull up, you know, we'll do a sick turn, wheelie. Morgan is heading in the direction. <laughs> so. Hell yeah. So you're, you're gonna Bye, go can ahead. you do like a, a van version of a kickflip? No. <laughs> no. No, I can't do a can van you, version you, of a kickflip. Can you rail grind in a van is what I'm saying. No. Have that you tried? Just screw up the everything. Just the Aww. everything. One time, Literally man. Literally everything. You think this waffle van can do that? It's a waffle van. So you're saying we need the... So you're saying there's a chance. If we get the right van. Yeah, oh, okay. if we had a better van, cool. the appropriate base for grinding, I don't see why not. You and me, we'd all baby. have to jump at like once, okay? Or we'd have to have some killer fucking suspension. You and me, baby, we'll make it happen. Hell yeah. All right. 
We can get low rider suspension and put it on the Oh, ship. yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll do. So, <laughs> so I assume we pull up next to Mock. Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beep, beep. Except it probably doesn't meep. It probably goes, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Because it's a giant <laughs> waffle van with a giant waffle on top. Ah, this is not my van, but it's okay. It's a van. You shouldn't get in this van. You should yeah. keep walking down the road. That's an order. Keep walking down the road. Don't get in the van. Uh, <laughs> a, uh, on a more like normal note, uh, the sun's going to come up and you're going to get fried. I mean, it's not the greatest. I'm embarrassed driving it, but like, sun or waffles? Oh, I'm gonna get in the van, but I'm also gonna put Tricky in the face. All right, uh, uh, this is okay. totally fair. Go I'm for okay it. Cool, that's a crit. <laughs> just okay. one critical success. <laughs> ah! Are you gonna dodge it or are you just gonna take it? Nah, I'll take it. All right, how much potions you got? Morgan. Oh, oh, I should have added potents. Uh, three. Okay, yeah, uh, it really hurts. It, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you manage to heal any of the, the aggravation? Oh, no, not oh, at all. No, 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 okay, so you're out. Yeah. You're, you're just. I am dead. <laughs> down. You're just down, yeah. For now. Morgan will wipe their fist on his tattered jacket and then sit down. All right. So the GPS instructions lead you to a container yard near a train yard. And it tells Are we getting on trains again? It tells you specifically to go into a specific container, which is left open. I drive into the container because I ain't getting out of the van. All right. Doing so <laughs> knocks the actual waffle off of the top of the van. <laughs> this is the greatest thing that could have ever happened! <laughs> <laughs> I happily drive into the, the, the train car in my van. No, it's not a train car, it's a container. Yeah, the container. Yeah. I drive into the container in my van. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and leave it for now because hit, we hit three hours. And we're going to say thank you. And then the next session, our first April session, will be the start of the Berlin leg of our journey where we're going to find out what's going to happen and we're going to meet the king of Berlin, Helena's best friend. Helena's best friend! Helena's, Helena's best friend! Jack's Woo, gonna best love friends. Him, I've never been more afraid. Yeah. The idea of Jack and <laughs> him talking like genuinely fills me with terror. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have the social. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> Just as we get in. Hey, Jacoby, you know what would be a really good colour for this waffle truck? Blue. What? I love that. I love you, Ricky. You have the best ideas. Maybe like a nice teal, you know? Mm. You just kind of get this sort of really confused Turquoise. look from Fi, like... Like a nice drawing, <laughs> like... <laughs> opal color. <laughs> Except the opal is blue, and therefore better. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that's the end of the story for tonight, and then we're gonna move on to Berlin next week. Let's go ahead and say thank you very much to Laura from Dark Moon Dice for for coming in last minute and thank you, Laura. Thank you for having me. The wonderful Rune, who was very much in over her head, <laughs> but she played through it with grace and and charm. So we really appreciate that. This has been uh, the Badger Game by Band of Badgers. Uh, I am Lee. Your storyteller and your host. This is Vampire the Masquerade by Onyx Path and we want to say thank you to Beetle and Grimms for making this possible. We want to thank you for all of our supporters who have been there for us through all that. Our theme music uh, for the intro, the break and the outro is Hip Jazz by Ben Sound at bensound.com If you want to support us, you can by subscribing to our Twitch channel, which means we can make even more content, such as the Great British Brush Off on Mondays. On Tuesdays, we have Vason with Holly, uh, Stacy, and Elle. So come see them and all of your fun, spooky, creepy, uh, Nordic cryptid adventures that, that can be had. Thursdays, we have Rise of the Rune Lords by Pezo. It's a Pathfinder game. 
our that's our flagship game actually it's our initial one that we started playing on saturday we have a drop of the badgers podcast listening to it will personally delight the specific chris who runs it and if you listen to it the next episode that releases before the berlin episode is going to be talking about all the conspiracy theories and the thoughts that players have about what's going on in the background with this whole situation what people want what they're up to what's going on why are we doing this what what's what's going on with mariana and sienna and why are they putting these torturing these poor innocent goblins who want nothing more than to blow things up and cover everything in glitter i mean really it's it's genius uh, and then uh, uh next sunday we will have vampire the masquerade first sunday in april 9 p.m gmt i think we're back to 4 p.m est so our calendars should be corrected for daylight savings time. So come on and, and see us. And we're going to do one last round of shout outs. So let's say hi to everyone who stuck around with us. Hello, 7-Eleven. Thank you, 7-Eleven, for being here for us. Thank you, RJOMV2. Thank you, Baron Snowhand. Uh, thank you to Biff Barf 370 Thank you to Bing Cortana. Thank you, Carbon14XYZ. Thank you, Chab Hunter. Thank you, Commander Roots. Thank you, Cone T F T B A. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you, Crimson Nexus. Thank you, Dangerous. That is our Ricky Dorada Ministry Giant Snake Class World Class Hero. Hero. Yes. Thank you to DM Stretch. Thank you to Dragon's Pyre. Thank you, Doctor Molt Kaladin, for his horrible, terrific, t uh, horrific tortures that he inflicted on our players today. It's a very big inspiration to me. Thank you for the Dark Ages. Thank you, Git Gok. Thank you, Good and Chaotic. That's L, our, our resident Toriador, Attack of Zia, and our uh, base in SC, so come watch more of L's crazy antics when they happen. Thank you to Insanity Squad 2020. That is actually, yes, very good description of 2020 is Insanity Squad. Thank you in the air. That's Holly Morgan Le Fay, our Bruja. Thank you for the wonderful, fun explosions. There have been so many explosions. I'm going to have to tone down the explosions because apparently they are unbelievable from the, cr the criticism we've gotten in chat. Thank you to Carlos Lois. Thank you, Kaylee Marie. Thank you. Keep drawing, Charlie. Appreciate the drawings. We appreciate that you have kept drawing. Thank you, Lethay. Thank you, Lucid Guppy. Thank you, Lurks. Thank you, Lilia Jane. That is our fantastic Helena Dean, the wonderful Asambra who loves art and destroying technology. Thank you to my first name is taken. Thank you to Pieties. Thank you, Pizza Sandwich, our Mr. Waffles, the inspiration and the savior of us all. Thank you, Raiden's. Romeo Indigo Echo, that's Phi, our Malkavian, and also on the Basin stream with Holly and Nell. Thank you, Ricky Ross. Come Thank join you. us on Tuesday. Join us Tuesday for Basin. Thank you, Ricky Ross. Thank you, Ryan Theravale. Thank you, Silly Dome 225. Thank you, Skillbo Fragments, Tom Toms, VNK, Valen Vane. Thank you, Vanilla Tricks. Thank you, Varda Turumbar. And thank you, Vir Virgo Praz. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you again next Sunday. We appreciate you so much. Thank you to all my wonderful people. I love you guys. Come see us next week for Berlin. Good night, Yay. everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.